will be silly, Buzz Walker. We have to save that baby Ewok from Jabba the Pig. Who? Oh, no! 
Sam. Bad news is I'm a bird. The good news is I get all the fruit loops I want. Mm. Yeah. The faucets even pour oranges, lemons, and cherries. What do you think, Ralph? Whoa. Awesome dream, dude, but you forgot to make them part of this complete breakfast. Wow, what a dream. Open the door to the kitchen of your dreams from Galley Cabinets. Whether you're building new or remodeling, Galley Cabinets can create the kitchen you've always dreamed of using traditional fine wood tones. The latest in contemporary colors and styles. Top quality plumbing fixtures and appliances and solid surface countertops like Corian and other famous brands. Stop by our showroom and see how we can create the kitchen of your dreams. Galley Cabinet, the top shelf in cabinetry. Get under the umbrella with Doppler 12 WeatherNet. And now, back to Muppet Baby. Washing Miss Daisy. I'm not the bathroom Kong. <laughs> row, row. Whoa, what happened? <laughs> I can't believe you fell for your fake landing stick gag on. <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> Whoa, boy. Uh oh. Would you mind hauling this piece of space junk out? Hey, where's Rolfo? Rolfo, where are you? Here, boy. Oh no, 
Lord, the walls are moving. Oh, they must be running out of room for all this garbage. We'll have to walk. We'll have to walk. Walk the dog? Reverie? Reverie? Huh? <laughs> Ready? Hey, I know. Let's grab the leash. Rofu? Roku? Huh? What? Never mind. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Remember, kids, never put a whoopee cushion in your flight simulator. Whoa. Second Skeeter, Bean can't be Bean Boy Space 10 and R2 Bean 2. Says who? <gasps> well, uh, 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 uh. Look out! clothes on specially marked boxes. They'll go through heaven. Congratulations on Earth! Not to mention your other great planets. Mars, Jupiter, Uranus. <laughs> They'll go through hell. You got totally lied to by our album covers, man. They'll go through anything to play in the Battle of the Bands. They'll even challenge death to a game of Twister. <laughs> ah! Bill and Ted's bogus journey. 
rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Push up! Yabba dabba do! A yabba dabba a dabba do! Yeah, Flintstone push up, that's what's cool! Push up, Flintstone push up! A taste right out of his story! It's the Bedrock Birthday Bash, and we're giving away a trip to Universal Studios Florida, plus lots of other great prizes. Details are on specially marked boxes, or you can write at this address by September 1st. But on October 1st, the party's over. No purchase necessary. And now, back to the Muppet Babies. Oh. Incoming be me. Clear the deck. Roar out, Ren. Beg your pardon? Oh, brother. No, not your brother. I'm your grandson, Lieutenant Wolf of the Starship Booby Prize. What? And the first thing we've got to do is get rid of this stupid collar. Oh, wow. Thanks, man. This week has been a real bummer. I know. I've been watching you. See? You see? You were in trouble back there in the past. So I beamed you up into the future with me, Grandpa. Radical! But I thought Rolfo the dog was the future. Negative. That was the cartoon future. This is the future future. Cool. Well, only because people like you took such good care of the past. What do you mean? <laughs> wow. Tomorrow depends on today. If this is the Starship Booby Prize, where's Captain Kirkman and Mr. Weirdo? Oh, those guys are from the last generation, Granddad. This is the next generation. But I can beam anybody up from any time or any place with this transporter. Watch! See? Boy, I've heard of long distance, but this is ridiculous. Captain Kirkman, look out behind you! Huh? Stay right there! First Officer Weirdo on the Starship Second Prize at your command, sir! Right, Starship. Wrong generation, Mr. Weirdo. What? Uh, I think we're in the wrong movie, Mr. Weirdo. Huh? Wait a sec! This is theater number five. Our movie's in theater number six. Come on, Boswaka. Let's go to the snack bar. Snack time! Exactly. We'll bring you back something. Huh? But... Whoa, whoa. Oh, no. The transporter's shorting out. Hey, where am I? No. What are you? <laughs> huh? Why are you? Now what? Are you sure this isn't the Twilight Zone? Ah! Meet those space dance. Stop that singing! Stop that singing!
Princess around here? Does this ring any bells, Mr. Skyhopper? Um, not really. I like chocolate donuts. See ya! Wait, wait, come back! Oh, oh. oh you can run, but you can't get away from me, Skyhopper! This is a funny school! Yes, it is! <laughs> Meet those faces! Shut up, you know, a moment like this could affect some bunnies permanently. If you can't beat them, you've got to save me, Froggy One Kenobi. <laughs> Pretty unbelievable, huh? I'll say. Oops, wrong floor. This is quite a mess, isn't it? Well, um, um... I'll tell you what, kids. You clean up the nursery while I clean up Rolf in the bathtub. Okay, Annie! Okay. Bye, Rolfie! Bye! Bye, you guys. But, Nanny, I'm not really Rolf. Really? Huh? I'm his grandson. Woof! I come from the future. Is that so? Yeah, and we don't even have dirt in the future, Nanny. Honest, you don't say. Papa Babies will return after these messages. <laughs> Watch me trick Fred out of his fruity pebbles. Uh, hey, Fred, but you can't gobble up all the fruit in Super Fruity Zone. <laughs> oh, yeah? Let me at that game. And let me at those delicious fruity pebbles. Look, I got the orange. I got the cherry. Oh, I got the same fruity flavors. Orange, cherry, grape, lemon, and lime. I got them all. Yabba, yabba. Ooh. Barney, my pebbles. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Post fruity and cocoa pebble cereal. Part of his nutritious breakfast. Battling evil with his mighty crossbow, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. We're under attack! The evil sheriff of Nottingham stole our weapon. Did I hear my name? It's Robin Hood and Will Scott. Dark warrior, fire the bullet bomber. Look out! We still got another weapon, sheriff. Fire the net launcher. Ah! The forest is safe again, for now. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Figures and accessories each sold separately. Mini Chips Ahoy are so delicious, so crunchy, these kids' hands are out of control. This is Mini Chips Ahoy Madness. Hands can't help helping handfuls. It's my hand. It's beyond my control. What if you and your buds sadly became fuzzy in all different non colors? You'd see Jim Henson's Massive Baby Saturday on CBS Kid TV, where kids rule. Can a kid be 
be a real hero? What could you do if someone's life depended on you? Be ready when an emergency happens. You might save a life. Watch Rescue 911. Be safe. Attending school with someone who has AIDS is very safe. You can even hold their hand or give them a hug without worrying about contracting the AIDS virus. Learn the facts about AIDS. Huh? What? Hi, this is Garfield. Excuse me for butting in on the Muppet Babies theme. My show's on later, so while you're waiting, watch my friend Grimmy, the funniest dog in the world. He's on next. Oh, sorry, Odie. Grimmy's the second funniest dog in the world. This is the Treasure Coast Wildlife Hospital. Here, caring professionals nurse injured animals back to health so they can be returned to their natural habitat. Hi, I'm Chris Douglas. I'm Ken Christensen. Our main concern is helping the wildlife along the Treasure Coast. Every year, hundreds of animals are needlessly injured and orphaned by man's activities. These animals need a second chance. If you see injured wildlife, please call the hospital at 546-8281. This is just one more way we can help the environment. TV 12 and you, together. Trip with the Sunshine Fun Guys. Ooh, that's deep, man. They're moving and grooving to a super cool beat. Say what? The California Raisins Saturdays. You got a lot to do. This was us. Energy is what you need. You can fill your bowl. Crayola crayons let you rock. Crayola markers let you roll. Crayola crayola rock. Crayola crayola rock. Crayola crayola rock. Crayola crayons and markers. You don't just draw with them. You rock and roll with them. Whispering saddle pals. I know I am. We're whispering because we don't want Sourdough to hear us. Thanks, Buffalo Bill. I knew there was a good explanation, saddle pals. Why don't we want Sourdough to hear us? Because, Woody Paul, today's our old sidekick's birthday. <gasps> yep, it's Sourdough's birthday, and we don't want him to know. Why don't we want him to know it's his birthday? He knows it's his birthday, Woody Paul. We don't want him to know about the surprise party we're having for him. Oh, right. And that's why we're whispering, isn't it? Right. Sometimes I think they named him Woody because that's what he is between the ears. Ah, ah, ah. I resent that remark, Two Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, here come the saddle pals. Shh. Meet us by the corral. 
going to take Sourdough to school with him so we can fix up the party without him knowing about it. Anybody see Sourdough? Looks like the coast is clear. Let's move out. Fancy critters, drink up! <laughs> you know what today is? That's right! Oh, I knew you critters wouldn't forget my birthday. <laughs> hey, Saddle Pals, you know what to do, don't you? Sure do, Ranger Dog. Party plan phase one, take Sauro to school with us. Party plan phase two, signal you by yodeling when we bring him back to the ranch. Party plan phase three, party! Yay! It's gonna be great, I'm a real party animal. <laughs> <laughs> I love parties too, I'm a real party succulent. <laughs> Say, Ranger Dog, do you think we have time to see one of those exciting cliffhanger adventures of Riders in the Sky? Yeah! yeah. I think so, Bobby. What he Paul twirl that magic lasso. Ooh. Ah. And now it's time for another exciting adventure of Riders in the Sky. Today's epic. Wait a minute. I'm not supposed to be on camera. I'm a voiceover announcer. Okay, but if I'm on camera, you'll have to pay me more money. Me and my big mouth. Today's episode, Riders in the Sky versus Tunga Tahunga. Our story begins in the unlikely location of a produce section of a shopateria, where our heroes are perusing pineapples, browsing broccoli, scanning squash. We're, We're shopping. shopping. That's them. They're Riders in the Sky. Yep, that's them, all right. Looks like we've got some pens here, boys. Guess we better get out our autograph pens. It sure is nice being recognized. Of course, sometimes it's nicer than other times. Let's get them! Gosh, Ranger Doug, now I know how Metallica must have felt after the Kiwanis Club pancake breakfast. I don't think they like us. Yeah, I don't think they like us a lot. But why? Maybe they think we're aliens from outer space here to ruin their lives. <laughs> Good one, Ranger Doug. <laughs> aliens from outer space. What would make them think that? <laughs> Maybe this has something to do with it. It looks like that super villainous Tunga Tahunga is up to her old tricks. Meanwhile, on the other side of town, the twisted tall tale teller and editor of the Tahunga Tongue, Tunga Tahunga, is enjoying our hero's newfound unpopularity. <laughs> Ooh, there's nothing juicier than a juicy headline. <laughs> I'll bet I've just absolutely ruined the reputation of those squeaky clean cowboys. Ooh, I could just kiss myself. And I could, too. Take my picture, Jimmy. Take a memo, Lois. <laughs> you can stop your posing, Tunga. Yeah, you're already posing as a reporter, and you're nothing more than a, a, a big fib teller. And just what are you going to do about it? We're going to expose your newspaper for the no-good gossip rag that it is. We'll put you out of business, Tunga. Unless I put you out of business first. Flash him, Jimmy! Oh, 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 oh. How about a tongue twister, boy? These buds are for you. <laughs> oblivion? Are they finally licked? You'll see for yourself next time in Tongue Depressing or The Taste of Danger on the next exciting adventures of Riders in the Sky! Gosh, there goes the school bell. We better get going. Gosh, you're right, Butch. Party plan phase one. to do, Sally. Sourdough, 
Uh, do you think you could take us to school? We sure, Shadow Pals, be happy to. Gosh, Key! See y'all later. Are you sure there isn't something you want to say to me before we get going? No, I can't no. think of anything. Have a nice trip to town. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. Come on, Shadow Pals. <laughs> Bye. 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 Riders in the Sky will return after these messages. This is Casey Kasem with DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince rapping about pollution. It's pathetic, the air that we've been breathing today. Straight up, man, we can't live in a world this way. I mean, people just littering. They must be on some mission. But we gotta do it since the adults won't listen. Now, this is the worst here. I know what you mean. We can't swim in this mess. Let's keep the water clean. Send in your pollution solutions and receive a free poster. Write Pollution Solutions, P.O. Box 96090, Washington, D.C., 20090. See the stars of tomorrow get their big break tonight at 11.30. Stupid broken leg. When you need a special friend to brighten your day. Hi, Sam. Want to play? Yeah. Ronald? Come on. Okay. Ronald, I wanna. He loves having fun. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ready or not, here I come. Who's your very own magical clown? Surprise! Ronald! Who's like nobody else around? Wow. Let's go fishing. Oops. Yes, Ronald, yes. the one. He loves having fun. It's a catfish. Hey, Sam. What? Shout time. Cool. Who drew that? My friend. Happy birthday! We're my little pony girl. We're having so much fun collecting different ponies. Let's play ponies, everyone. Princess Pony has a royal crown and long eyelashes. And Glow and Joe's stars glow in the dark. Wow! Special light is for TV. We can collect them all. Princess ponies and Glow and Show ponies, each sold separately. And now back to more fun with Riders in the Sky. Come and get it! Let's giddy up, kids! <laughs> Sounds like the Wild West Puppet Saloon is wilder than weeds today. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Teacher's Pet, we mustn't say anything to Sourdough about his birthday or we'll ruin the surprise. I'll remember, Teacher. I never forget anything. Oh, well, that's right, you don't. That's one of your more annoying, well, I mean endearing qualities. Thank you, Miss Adformata. You're welcome, Teacher's Pet. Oh, and thank you for not bringing me a present today. You really have been overly generous. But I did bring you a present, Teacher. Look out the window. Where are the cows? Well, how elaborate, Teacher's Pet. A herd of cattle all for me. Goodness. Well, I'll have to stop in at the pet store and pick up some uh, chew toys. Oh, dear. I hope they've been spayed and neutered. Why, everything looks perfect, doesn't it, Wyatt? Uh, it sure does, Honey Bunch. Uh. Oh, you frightened Harry, my little darlings. It isn't time for the surprise yet, is it, Ranger Doug? Your puppet mom is right, Miss Calamity and Miss Commotion. But I must say, you look prettier than a prairie sunset in your party hats. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a copy of Villain Magazine, Mr. Slocum. Give that to me. Oh, look, you've got teen smudges all over it. Oh, it's so hard to find good rock and roll pony express riders these days. And here's something for you, Muley. Gosh, 
for more? I'll take that. Later, evil guys. Later, Axel. <gasps> it's an invitation to a surprise party for that goody goody geezer sourdough. Oh, goody good goody. What do you mean? I wasn't invited. Oh, I mean, baddie, bad, baddie. Well, we'll see about this. Not inviting me. How dare those cowboys? I'll get even with them. I'll crash their silly party and ruin everything. Uh, oh, I'm going to that party, all right. Wild horses couldn't keep me from showing up at a party. I'm not invited to. I forgot something, Mr. Slocum. Here's an invitation for you two. Oh, well, in that case, um, I'm not going. <laughs> I am the original party pooper. Hey, saddle pals, look who's here to help me make a birthday cake for old sourdough. It is I, senor, senor. Senor, senor is here to help me because mine didn't turn out like I planned it exactly. Did it, Mr. Adler? No, I don't say that's a real nightmare on Cake Street. <laughs> so, I'm showing to Slim how to make ice cream cone birthday cakes. Just like my sainted mother used to make for me and my little sister. I didn't know you had a little sister, senor, senor. What's her name? Senorita, senorita. Ah, that was going to be my first guess. Well, we have everything we need all laid out here. The ice cream cones. Use the ones with the flat bottoms so they stand up in the muffin pan. Yes, here's our muffin pan. And we've got some cake mix already mixed up. You can ask your mom and dad to show you how to mix it. Some frosting mix. And because these are birthday ice cream cone cakes, I brought some velas. Candles! When Too Slim makes a birthday cake, the candles are usually the most delicious part of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mind Mr. Adler, senor, senor. He's always joking. <laughs> Except when I'm eating Too Slim's cooking, then I'm usually choking. <laughs> He's such a kidder. <laughs> First, you spoon in the cake mix until the cones are a little bit more than half full. Then you put the ice cream cone in the muffin pan like this. And then we'll put them into the oven. You can ask your mom and dad to help. And then we'll just bake according to the directions on the cake mix box. And when they're done, we'll put on some frosting. Mmm, and the velas, candles. It will be very exciting. Oh, everything too slim cooks is exciting. Not always edible, but exciting. <laughs> Surprise! Hey, it's Princess Little Running Bear that frolics in the cave of the mighty waterfall. You can call me Princess. Surprise! Surprise! Looks like almost everybody's here but the guest of honor. That's our signal to hide. Everybody in here, quick! Will you stop that infernal yodeling? You're making my tinnitus act up. Where is everybody? <laughs> Don't go away, saddle pals. Riders in the Sky will be back after these messages. Yo, class, zip those lips fast. In today's lesson, I'm addressing the two laws of new Cheetos brand paws. One, paws are made for way cool fun. Kate, please demonstrate. Totally awesome. Dig Nick and his hip trick. Now let's review law two. Only kid-sized claws can seize new paws. The cheese that goes... Crunch! Yummy shape, funny shape, that's the taste of honey shape. All kids love the shape of honeycomb. Well, it should come as no surprise. Even of every shape and size. Love what honeycomb provides. The shape and honey taste they prize. Honey, honey, honey. honey. So all kids love the taste of honeycomb. Part of a complete breakfast. 
They're here. The new Post baseball player cards. The biggest stars. The hottest rookies. 30 great players. Three player cards inside marked boxes of honeycomb cereal. all comes with her own pink fashion foam. Fashion foam soap and other colors each sold separately. One kid's meal right away. Can you make that too? I will destroy the planet Earth. Not to put over our own you spoil the sweep. Not even you, Captain Planet. Now at Burger King, you can get one of four Captain Planet Star Cruisers every week when you buy a kid's meal. The Burger King Kids Club, just for fun, just for you. And now, back to Riders in the Sky. <laughs> you fellas sure need surprise old sourdough. <laughs> I thought you'd forgot all about me. Aww. Well, we'd never forget about your birthday, sourdough. That's right, old timer. You're part of the family. right now if my old tear ducts weren't so dried up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how'd you like to hear your favorite song, Sourdough? Cimarron? Cimarron it is. Oh. Let's hit it, boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure, swell song. Boy, oh boy, I wish I could learn to play the fiddle like you, Woody Paul. <laughs> well, Bobby, the fiddle isn't the kind of instrument that's easy to learn. Why, it takes years and years of hard practice. Well, if it's going to take that long, Woody Paul, you'd better let Bobby get started. <laughs> okay, lesson number one, hole in the fiddle. Like this, Woody Paul? That's not bad. Can I try using the bow? Okay, but don't be too disappointed if you can't get a good sound. Like I say, it takes years and years of practice. <laughs> see, see what I mean? <laughs> Gee, I must be a better fiddle teacher than I thought. <laughs> To be exact. Wow. Happy birthday, Sardo! Take a wig.
wish and blow out the candles. <laughs> I wish that we could see the second part of that cliffhanger. <gasps> is my magic lasso's command. And now it's time for another exciting adventure of Riders in the Sky. Riders in the Sky versus Tunga Tahunga, part two. As you'll remember from part one, unless you woke up a little late this morning, the riders' reputations were besmirched by that flabby brewer of bogus bylines, Tunga Tahunga. As we rejoin our story, our heroes are just about a certain doom under the crushing force of Tunga's tongue. Certain doom? Not be so pessimistic, huh? I heard of tongue twisters, but this is ridiculous. What do we do, Ranger Doug? Let's give her a taste of her own medicine, boys. Follow my lead. Say, you two must be the two that Tunga wrote to us about. Are you still practicing voodoo? Huh? Yes, Tunga wrote and said you were caught practicing voodoo. At the Betty Ford Clinic. With Elvis. None of that's true. Tunga, how could you? Unable to reply because of the oversized obstacle protruding from her mouth, Tunga unwittingly lets our heroes loose. Wow. Talk about a retraction. I never said any of those things. And we never said we were aliens from outer space, did we, Tunga? Well, not exactly, no. It doesn't feel too good when lies are told about you, does it, Tunga? Well, not exactly, no. Maybe now you'll print an apology and set the record straight. Well, not exactly, no! And so, Tunga left our cowboys with no other choice than to wash her mouth out with a giant bar of soap. You leave us with no other choice than to wash your mouth out with a giant bar of soap, Woody Paul. Apology accepted. But you haven't heard the last of Tunga to Hunga. Oh, yes, we have. Because those were the last lines of dialogue that were written for this exciting episode of Riders in the Sky. <laughs> this is the best darn birthday you sidekick ever had. <laughs> do we have time for a sing-along? We sure do. What would you like to hear, Sourdough? sing along where we all repeat what you sing. Ah, I'm going to leave old Texas now. Excellent choice, sourdough. <laughs> Move just gracias, senor, senor. <laughs> Maybe I can bounce on the words for the saddle pals at home. Well, you're the birthday boy, sourdough. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Texas now, oh Texas now, they've got no use, they've got no use for the Longhorn cow, for the Longhorn cow, they've plowed and fenced, they've plowed and fenced my cattle range, my cattle range, and the people there, and the people there are all so strange, are all so strange. I'll bid adieu, I'll bid adieu to the Alamo. The fiddle solo. Saw, 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 saw. Saw, 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 saw. Scrape, 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 scrape. Scrape, 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 scrape. Noodle, 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 noodle. Noodle, 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 Squeak, 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 squeak. Let's do coyotes. A fast one. Yeah, I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave. Old Texas now. Old Texas now. They've got no use. They've got no use for the Longhorn cow. For the Longhorn cow. Let's make cow noises. And now these messages. Jack, 
Nice bumping into you. Sugar Bear, Super Golden Crisp cereal. Not worth coming down the beanstalk mm. for. There's a taste of honey in every bite of Super Golden Crisp with a honey crunch. I just can't get enough of. Watch your back, Jack. Fee, fi, fo, fum. That looks good, and I want some. Sorry, big guy. Everybody's falling for that great honey crunch. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Can't, can't get, get enough, enough Super Golden, Golden Crisp. Mm. Love that honey crunch. Mr. Turtle, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? I never made it without biting. Ask Mr. Owl. Mr. Owl, how many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Let's find out. One, two, three, three. How many licks does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. No saddle pals, most of the time it doesn't take too much to make your friends and family feel good. That's right. All it really takes is for you to say a kind word or lend somebody a friendly helping hand. And before you know it, you've made somebody feel really good. And here's a secret for you, Saddle Pals. If you make someone you know feel good, you know what happens? You make yourself feel good, too. And that's a fact. So long, Saddle Pals! So long, Saddle Pals. It's been so good to see you. Farewell, Saddle Pals. We really hate to leave you. Keep those faces smiling around your own corral. So until we meet again, goodbye, Saddle Pie. The fight against AIDS continues and the solution is a long way off. But it's reassuring to know the Surgeon General says that no schoolmates of students with the AIDS virus have developed AIDS. It's a fact. California Vineyards. Don't you know that I heard it through the grapevine? Sounds better than what I got. Tuesday, it's that comedy giant like you've never seen him before in... A movie? Join Morgan Fairchild, James Brolin, and Tony Bill in Pee-wee's Big Adventure, the movie, Tuesday. Channel 2 News, New York's Emmy Award winner. Lay it down. Cool is the rule, cause the music's so fine. You might have heard about us through the old grapevine. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. We're not prunes of jades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're no ordinary grades. We're the purple, we're the hue. And don't forget about the sweet colors, too. The California Razor, amazing razor. California Razor Band. When the blazing sun is gazing. Now you can teach a new dog old tricks. Good Pongo. Because the stars of Walt Disney's classic movie, 101 Dalmatians, are now four opposable toys. Stop, Twinkie. Hey, Corella. Please, give me those puppies. <laughs> One with each Happy Meal you buy. What is Gak? 
Jack is great stuff. Oozy. <laughs> Jack is dripsy. You can pull it. Make Gak sounds. How rude. Suck it up and squirt it out with a Gak back. Pump it up and blow it up with a Gak inflator. Well, I never. Nickelodeon Gak comes in different colors, sizes, and play sets. Each sold separately. Coming soon from Mattel. Disgusting. I see your true colors shining through. Life is full of firsts. Your true colors shining through. Some big, some small, each one special. So don't be afraid to let them show. If you were his parents, would you trust this moment to anything other than Kodak Gold film? No other film in the world gives you truer color than Kodak Gold. True colors. Huh? What? Nothing more fun than spending an afternoon at the mall. I'll say one thing, this is where the best record shops are. I'm with you, leader man. March me to the tomb room. Hey, check out those cute veggie girls. Uh, I'm totally bummed. Like, I hit my plastic earrings in the microwave, okay? And, like, my mom, like, totally melted them. Uh... Hey, a parrot. <laughs> Hi, you fella. And say something. Come on. It's a pickle parrot, a native of New Delhi. They can't talk. Ah, uh, what do you get when you cross a parrot with a canary? <laughs> I don't know. What? A bird who knows both the words and the music. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you said pickle parrots can't talk. Well, uh... It was good old Red talking parrot jive. Just rehearsing my Cyrano de Birdie act. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's hit the record store so we can get out of here. Ah, oh, loosen up, A.C. The Sherman Okra Galleria's a fun-loving place. She's right, honey bunch. Listen, can't you hear the call of the mall? The sweet currants are something else. <laughs> they sure love to shop. You said it. We're gonna shop till we drop. When I became of age, my mama called me to her side. She said, son, you're growing up now. Pretty soon you'll take a ride. But then she said, just because you become a young man now, there's still some things that you don't understand now. Before you ask some girl for a hand now, keep your freedom for as long as you can now. My mama told me, you better shop around. Shop, shop around. Yeah. You better shop around. Shop, shop around. There's some things that I want you to know now. That's for sure as the winds are gonna blow now. When they come and the women are gonna go now. I'm gonna tell them that you love them so now. My mama told me, better shop around. Oh, won't you shop around? from the illustrious country of Luxembourg. All right, that clown's real brassy. Yeah, I mean, sounds real classy. Uh, uh, can you help me? I'm Lenny Lettuce, and I've been looking all over the country for the king. What are we, solid peanuts? Buddy, we're the kings of rock and roll, the California Raisins. You are? Here's our too cool license. And our official registered trademark. Well, in that case, I hereby present you with this. It's our address, but I can't tell who it's to. The name is smudged. None of us is named smudged. Hear ye, hear ye. Be it known that the country of Luxembourg hereby announces that whoever this letter is addressed to has been proclaimed to be king.
mean you don't know which of us is supposed to be king? Well, that's a high-level decision. They don't let me in on that stuff. This is just my part-time job. Being a king would be a blast. Well, don't be so sure, Double B. I caught a flick once about a king who really took a tumble. Hmm, that would be King Henry VIII or perhaps King George. Nope, King Kong. The Royal Jet will be arriving in six hours to pick you up. The Royal Jet, that sounds cool. <laughs> what a goofy dude. Where does he get off thinking we want to be kings? Yeah, I bet it's hard work sitting on a throne all day. Having to wear a heavy, solid gold crown could be a real headache. Boys, did I just hear a horse go by? Yes, Mom. The man who was riding it wants one of us to be king. That's wonderful. Horses are such lovely animals. Hey, hey, guys! I've been phoning all over the town looking for you. I've gone through three city phone books. What's up, Rudy? Uh, I forgot to hire a stage crew for your concert today. I'm sorry. Oh, swell. Don't worry. I know some dependable guys who'll be just perfect. Great. Uh, who? You know, I'm starting to think that being royalty isn't such a bad idea. You got that right. Like, when did you ever see Queen Elizabeth hauling her own music gear? I keep wondering which of us they want to be king. Not me. I wouldn't even know what to do. AC, you'd be a great king. Me? Sounds like it would interfere with my real vocation. Meaning? Keeping the cool. There's the Team Beat Club. We've got to unload fast. The show starts in less than an hour. I think this will look good for just my imagination. Okay, let's check it out. Get down, loyal dudes and dudettes. Your king has made the scene. It's time to boogie. Pardon me, your highness, but shouldn't your royal rumble seat be busy carrying in the props? You expect me, King Red the Cool, doing common labor? I have loyal subjects to do my bidding. Whoa, King Red is such a great guy. Yeah, letting us carry in all this important stuff. All the other fans will sure envy us. Over there, my dedicated subjects. You're something else, letting your fans do your work. Hey, they volunteer. Besides, I figure I better practice pointing my noble finger in case I do become king. Your slightest wish is my command. Here, let King Red carry those props for you. Ooh. Feast your eyes on what's happening out front. This is Dan Radish interrupting the President's press conference with an incredible, late-breaking story. Stretch, the wire services are buzzing with rumors that you may become King of Luxembourg. I can't imagine how those silly, ridiculous, unfounded rumors started. Hey, hey the latest rumors! Hey, hey. Then you'll deny the rumors about becoming part of royalty? Absolutely. And if you don't believe me, just ask my good buddy Prince Philip. AC, my reliable sources say you're the one who'll sit on lots of beans throne. That's ridiculous. Really? But of course, being the raisins leader, you'll have no time to rule a country. Right. I mean, well, uh, I'm sure I could squeeze my royal duties in somehow. You heard it here first. Now back to the studio. At least Bebop hasn't gotten worked up about this whole thing. Look again. She passes by I say to myself You're such a lucky guy To have a good love heart Is truly a dream come true Out of all the fellas in the world She belongs to me Just my imagination Running away with me It was just my imagination Running away with me It was just my imagination Everywhere I look I see Just my imagination Make believe and fantasy Just my imagination And understand the way I breathe Just my is it in my mind or is it me? It was just my imagination.
That's some fantasy, Bebop. You know, the Royal Jet is waiting. Sounds like an adventure. Let's hit the road! I don't see any Royal Jet. <gasps> I guess it was too good to be true. Now, is that not a Royal Jet? Oh, man, check it out. Hell yay, hell yay! Translux and Beam Airlines, flight number two. I'm Lenny Lettuce, your part-time pilot. All aboard! Uh, uh, come and get it. Now, just come on in. Check it out. A freaked-out castle with wings. I've never seen such a fancy place. Yeah, and this is just the tourist section. Buckle up! We'll be taking off just as soon as I figure out how this thing works. <laughs> Giddy up! Now, what's this do, Eggie? <laughs> Well, that guy flies planes like he rides horses. You can start something cool with the hot taste of Kellogg's Pop Tarts. So cool. Kellogg's Pop-Tarts? We're tired of doodling in black and white. Nickelodeon Color Rider to the rescue! Rainbow colors and so much more Special magic's in the board It's like magic! Color Rider, Color Rider Erase a little and change the line Color Rider, Color Rider Black and white is out! Color Rider, batteries not included. Erases with icy cold water from Mattel. Where can you jam with the biggest names in the business and the hottest new acts from around the country? Pump it up every week with host Natalie Cole and her special guests, including Regina Bell, In Vogue, and Tony, Tony, Tony. Then get busy with the stars of tomorrow slamming for $100,000 on the show that makes somebody, somebody. Big break. Tonight at 11.30 on Channel 2. No Dino Pebbles cereal with marshmallows. The, the, the Dino is a real rat, dude. No Dino Pebbles cereal. They got his attitude. Marshmallows is the Dino's purple, orange, red, green, vanilla flavored cereal. What a team! Marshmallow Dino licious. <laughs> no Dino Pebbles. Mmm, marshmallow Dino licious. But it's just nutritious. Breakfast to the Dino. My friend Grimmy lives in that shoe. He's frantic. He's funny. And he ain't that bad a guy for a dog. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Grimmy, Saturday on CBS Kid TV. Whoa! 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 We don't want to scare them away. I know that getting excited is uncool, but I'm excited. Me too. Imagine going down in history with all the other kings. Henry, George, Charlemagne, Elvis. On behalf of all seven of your loyal subjects, I, the Prime Ministroni, welcome you to Luxembean. Thanks. We really didn't expect all this. Let the parade begin! Yay! Hooray! Yay! Hooray! This is an historic day, indeed! Why does this Yay. remind me of one of Woody's gigs? How are we going to break the news to them that being king just isn't our bag? Uh, there's one thing we should settle real quick. I agree. So do tell which one of you is our new king. Don't you know? How could I know? Here's the envelope you sent us before the first commercial. See? The name was smudged. Hmm. Oh, yes! 
But if you look real close, you'll see that it's addressed to occupant. Hey, okay, occupant. <sighs> we sent out thousands of proclamations. You were the only ones who responded. How about that? It was set bulk rate. Now that that's settled, which one of you is occupant? <gasps> Fire! I just had a thought. Why not have four kings? A splendid idea! Four kings for seven subjects. What are we gonna sit on? A throne or a couch? Yes, the more kings, the better. Especially after what happened to our other king. Yay! Short rain, more like a drizzle. <laughs> oh, that was an excellent parade. Huh? Is it over already? That was a short celebration. Well, this is the short kingdom, you know. Just a couple blocks, actually. Oh, here's a gift for your highnesses. Uh, says, uh, says, uh, <laughs> Lady Zucchini is your most loyal subject. We need you desperately. Golly, we haven't had a steady king for years. What happened to your other kings? Oh, it was awful. They... Uh... Quick, change the subject. It has been so long since we had someone to rule us. Without a king, we don't know what to do. I think they're trying to keep something from us. <laughs> Alas, our kingdom is in disarray. Hopefully during your rule, however brief it may be, Lux and Beam will finally get back on its feet. Oh! Eek! Prime Minister Rooney! Alas, look what I found! <laughs> Fair garlic! There's no time to lose! Let the coronation begin! It is with great honor I crown thee, 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 and uh, thee. Well, what do I see here? Huh? Who said that? Oh, hiya. He'd be handy to have around to scare short people who have hiccups. Uh, we're having a little uh, problem. Four heads and only one crown. I don't see any problem. Didn't you know this is a special crown? One size fits all? <laughs> hey, watch it! Who are you? I'm Sir Garlic Punk, but you can call me Herb. <laughs> I'll be seeing you later at the tournament. <laughs> What's this tournament he's talking about? Oh yes, tournament. Well, it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, uh, it's a tradition that whoever is king has to fight a duel with Sir Garlic. It's for the honor of the kingdom. And Sir Garlic is such a meanie. No one ever has beaten him. Say what? Is that true? True? Well, uh... Don't worry, since there are four kings, hopefully uh, one of you will make it. <laughs> the odds are with us, and I do mean odd. Well, uh, nice meeting you. We enjoyed our visit, but we'll be going now. Oh, please stay! You're our last hope of freeing our country once and for all from garlic. You have your honor to think of. After all, you are our king <laughs> I suppose it's the least we could do. After that nice plane ride and that swell parade. When does this tournament take place? <laughs> Whenever Sir Garlic wants. But put it out of your mind. Come, your castle awaiteth you. Whoa, what a nest. Like this is a primo pad and a half. These portraits are of all the kings who have ruled Luxembourg. Nice bunch of dudes. That's King Romain. He was the first and best king we ever had. If only we could find a true descendant, one who also has a heart-shaped birthmark on his neck. All of our other kings have been... Uh, flops. Hmm. You know, there's something about that dude that looks awfully familiar. Let's prepare the royal chambers for our new kings. Good idea! See you later. It boggles my mind to think that only this morning our home was our castle. Ooh, that's deep, man. Like ankle deep. 
I just saw something move over there. You're right. Someone sinister is snooping. I'm not snooping. I'm a part-time battler. And it's my fault you guys got into this mess. I'm such a ninny. I'll never do anything right. Don't worry about it. We can take care of ourselves. Not against Sir Garlic. Your only chance is to run. Man, the California raisins do not slink away into the night. Let me put it this way. Sir Garlic has been undefeated in over 5,002 matches. Let's get, get slinking. This way. Come on, guys. Watch out for booby traps. This is neat. We ought to have a tunnel like this under our house. Careful. That may be a trap. Good thinking, Stretch. Well, now we're completely lost. Not yet. Look over there. Two doors. But which one do we choose? Let's try the door on the right. No, gotta be the other door. Where are we? We must be miles from the castle. You went the wrong way. This is the castle courtyard. Great. Now we'll have to escape all over again. There's no escape from me. I'd say it's time we got this door over with. Sir Garlic. Can't you see we're non-violent raisins? Right, man. We're peaceful. We're friendly. We're seedless. The duo. Not another one. Oh, no. I have a feeling we better send out another bulk mailing. Use your weapons. We already have our best weapon against evil and badness. Well, it won't work. Whatever it is. But what is it? What do our music? You can dance. Every dance with the guy who gives you the eye, let him hold you tight. You can dance, you can smile, you can smile. Every smile for the man who held your hand with the pale moonlight. But don't forget who's taking you home and then who's on your gonna be. But this royalty jazz just isn't for us. We better be heading back home now. But if you won't be our king, who can we get? Man, you had king material among you all along. Oh, you're too kind. I don't have everything, but I must admit. Step up here, Lenny, and claim your throne. Uh, what? Who? Oh, me? You see, Lugton Beam's greatest king, King Romain, was from the Lettuce family, like you. And judging from the exact same heart-shaped birthmark you both have on your necks, you are a direct descendant of King Romain. And the rightful ruler of Luxembourg. Here, wear this. Jay, I guess this means I'll have to give up my part-time jobs. Hail to our king! Long live Lenny! All right! Well, we're not kings anymore, but that's fine with me. Yeah, those folks sure seem grateful to us for finding their real king. They look too grateful. They might try to knight us. We better scoot back to California. If we can find someone to fly that jet, forward. I can fly you back. Uh, thanks, but, uh... We'll take the bus. Magic words. Love is magic. Amazing. It's 
for you. Surprise! Gorgeous hair, too! My magic nursery baby is the most beautiful baby I've ever seen. Let's see what your baby is. Surprise! Wow, mine's a boy! My surprise package had cute overall. He's adorable. The best surprise is your mind forever. Magic nursery baby. There are lots of different magic nursery toddlers, each with a surprise package, each doll sold separately. Rules for fun at Pizza Hut. Use your napkins. Elbows off the table. Somewhere's okay. Now, let's eat. Excellent. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles rock and roll. Ninja Turtles! You can get their hot new cassette for $3.99, plus a free autograph poster and official tour book, only at Pizza Hut. Big pieces, little pieces, masterpieces, Reese's pieces, head pieces, neck pieces, hair pieces, Reese's pieces, eye pieces, nose pieces, pieces, Reese's pieces, Time pieces, center pieces, mantle pieces, Reese's pieces, chest pieces, gold pieces, silver pieces, Reese's pieces. The famous flavor of Reese's peanut butter in a fun candy shell. You'll love them to pieces. Today! <laughs> has this dog gone off his rocker or what? Laugh with Grimmy today on CBS Kid TV. <laughs> This is CBS. You've heard about designated drivers and you think it's a good idea, right? The driver doesn't drink. Well, how about it? Is it your turn to be the designated driver? There are three shrimp out of water fishing for excitement. I'll get it! Don't miss the amazing live sea monkey Saturday on CBS Kid TV. Sticks. He won't be dead. You taste your car or you can't instead. You don't do bad for over a swim. I want you too, Grimmy. She's in love with him. Oh. This dog is grim. Oh. Better lock the door, better get the floor, better hide your head, that's grim. Better pull the shade, better call the aid, better stay in bed, that's him. Little Grimmy Boo runs around the sea, he's a laughing man. And watch your step, cuz look out or you'll be had. This dog is bad. He won't bark if he's gonna bite. And man, he gets in trouble on Jessica at night. But she can't stay too angry at him. She's Mother Goose, Mother Goose, Mother Goose and Grim. Creamy. Grimmy will return after. These messages. Whoa! <laughs> Watch me trick Fred out of his cocoa pebbles. A time machine! Greetings! From the future! I gotta bring back something super chocolatey! Please take my cocoa pebbles! Mmm! Cosmic cocoa taste! Time to go! Barney, my pebbles! <laughs> Your history, Fred. Post Pebble cereal. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Yeah, but dabba delicious. Oh boy, there should be some wildlife around here. Surprise! The McDonald's Happy Meal guys. Yep, a chicken McDonald's. Regular soft drink and regular fries. And they aren't lying. lying. Now inside every Happy Meal you buy at McDonald's, there's a fun Jungle Book wind-up toy. A dancing balloon, a pouncing sheer Khan, a tumbling King Louie, or slithering Ka the Python. Jungle Book Happy Meal toys at McDonald's. You could wind up with all four. And now back to Grimmy. Grimmy! 
baby! No sign of Grimmy? No, but I know how to get him. I'll just blow my new dog whistle, guaranteed to bring your pooch home in a jiff. Does that make an ultrasonic sound that attracts dogs? No, but it imitates the sound of a garbage truck. <laughs> is guaranteed to work in five seconds. Four, three... You rang? Two seconds to spare! Oh, Sugar Paws, your mama has a wonderful surprise for you. Oh, I love this woman. Don't tell me. Let me guess. My very own life-size mailman chew toy? A toilet full of mountain spring water? It's a bath. A bath! Oh, that's terrific! I haven't had one of those in years to think my very own bath. I know... Oh, no, you take the bath. I don't want it. Please. You have fleas and you're getting a bath. <laughs> Moi? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I don't have one single flea anywhere on my own personal me. Matt, I'm home. Wow, hats and horns. Something wrong with my parasitic princess? It's this apartment, Aldo. It's too small. Too small? Why, there's just you and me in the kit. <laughs> just one small family. We have plenty of room. Yeah, well, if we have plenty of room, I'll invite my mother to move in with us. Boy, it got crowded in here all of a sudden. Aldo, either we move to a bigger place or I'm calling her. All right. All right, baby. Mothers-in-law are like seeds. You don't need them, but they come with a tomato. I'm tapping. I, I didn't know I tapped when I walked. <laughs> Must be my nails. La, 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 ho, ho. Why me? And in front of these meatheads? All alone, Grimmy? Yeah. Don't you have a girlfriend? A, a girlfriend? Me? Oh, sure. I have plenty of girlfriends. Hundreds of them. What? Women are lined up from here to someplace else. He don't have a girlfriend, does he, Scrug? Nah, he ain't got a girlfriend. No girlfriend there. That dog ain't got a... Shut up, Scrug. I'm shutting up. I do so have a girlfriend. I'll show you a great girlfriend. I'll... I, I have a beautiful girlfriend. I, I, I gotta go get a girlfriend. How come I never meet girls? Could it be my breath? Well, let's see. I eat out of trash cans and I drink out of toilets. Nah, couldn't be my breath. I'll never meet anyone. I'll be a lonely, grimy poo all my life. I'm... 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 I'm in love. What a cute little sheepdog. I've never seen her around here before. Ah, okay, Grimmy. Time to turn on the charm. Be cool. Be suave. Gee, it's hard to be suave when your tail is wagging. All right, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a sheepdog. Just a cute, adorable, beautiful sheepdog. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to ask around on a date. I'm going to stay right here for the rest of my life. I'm putting out the sign to tell folks the house is for sale, Mudge. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
lousy first impression. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Oh, this is lousy. Okay, this is it. Time for Mr. Charm. Ah! I need a cool opening line. Something clever and witty to break the ice. Hey, you don't drool much, do you? Huh, smooth dog. <laughs> Real smooth. First base. <laughs> Wait right here. I'm going out on a date, and I think it's puppy love. Will you hurry up in there? What are you gonna take all day? She's going out with me. She's going out with me. <laughs> I wonder if she finds me attractive. I mean. Now, sure, I've gained a few pounds, but it's not fat. These are just puppy love handles. <laughs> You'll love the place I picked out. It's a cozy little dining spot under the stars that caters to kings. Hi, King. Mind if we join you? Oh, there they are. Here's my chance to show off my beautiful date. Come on, beautiful date. I want you to meet some <clears throat> friends of mine. Hi, gang. Just showing my <clears throat> beautiful date here around the neighborhood. Hey, she's cute. Not bad, Grimmy. She's cute. That's one cute date you got there, Grimmy. She's shut up. I'm shutting up. Hi. This is my beautiful girlfriend. Beautiful girlfriend, say hi to the guys. Meow. Yeah. Huh. She's a cat. She is. Grimmy's out with the cat. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most humiliating moment of my life. <laughs> Grimmy will return after these messages. Hmm. <laughs> And now back to Grimmy. Grimmy will return after these messages. Whoa! A new peanut butter crunch egg with... Oh, a peanut butter weasel! Peanut butter! He's eating it all! He's just excited about a better taste. And news like that you don't keep under your hat. Peanut butter crunch! Now it's even better and part of a balanced breakfast. You don't have to go to the Australian Outback for a boomerang. You can get one from Cabin Crunch Cereal and play Outback in your own yard. This is my backyard. There's one of four colorful boomerangs in each specially marked box of Cabin Crunch. This dude is a hunking chunk of easy chewing bubble yum bubblegum. And this is Reggie, a land roving turtle from the island of Galapagos. Both are big, but only one is soft. Big soft chunk bubble yum keeps it pop. This is a chunk of super soft bubble yum bubble gum. This is a loud thumping tune pumping boom box. Both are known for blast. But only the yum is the fun that never blows out. Big mouth busting bubble yum keeps it popping. Now this is where they spotted that wild new flavor from Kool-Aid. I'm in rock Rail. Many days of good. Red and fruity, just like it should. Rock, rock, rock. Mm, rock Rail. From Kool-Aid. It's rock delicious. I want to go, go down the street. See what you see. Rock-a-dial Rail. Walking Pop comes with her own leash, brush, and ribbon. Batteries not included. And now back to Grimmy. Hey, Grimmy, we didn't know you liked cats. 
Maybe you two could chase mice together. <laughs> and I don't see what's wrong. Listen, if he wants to go out with the cat, that's his business. Let's go, Ani. I'm with you, Thelma. Aw, oh, come on. Every dog in the world must have turned him down. You're a cat? You can't be a cat. Oh, say you're not a cat. Please say you're not a cat. Oh, you weren't supposed to say that. Why didn't you tell me you were a cat? <laughs> I can't have a cat for a girlfriend. I don't like cats. I've never liked cats. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no! I can't go out with a cat. If we got married, our families would fight like cats and dogs. Well, good. I lost her. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! No! Beat it! <laughs> Who could marry into a family that considers a scratching post their home entertainment center? Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. That's so warm and fuzzy and... Yeah! I, I gotta find a place to hide! This is great! She'll never find me in here! Stop following me. Yeah. I'm a dog and I go out with dogs. In fact, everybody always says my dates are dogs. Yeah. Come on, just get lost. You and I, we 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 can't. They would not us go. <laughs> it would never work out. Everybody would laugh at us. Call me Mr. Cat. It's for the better. Oh, I, now my fleas seem to be acting up again. Let's take a look at this house here, why don't we? Oh, come on, babe. A dog out with a cat? Eh, why not? I go out with a pig. Yeah, we was mean to Grimmy. It's fun. We was just having some laughs. We was just... Shut up, Scrug. I'm shutting up. We think you guys are bullies, and we don't want to have anything more to do with you. Do we, Scrug? I'm with you, honey. Ah, who needs you? We don't need you. Yeah, we don't need you. We never needed you. We wouldn't... Scrug! I'm shutting up. Scrug, I'm depressed. You want me to go bite someone? Nah. Hey, I'll about we messed up somebody's lawn. Nah. Maybe we could chase a cat. Nah. Boy, you are depressed. Chase a cat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my old buddy's door. That's great. Let's chase the next cat we see. And there it is! After you! Nope, it would never have worked out. Never in a million years! Meow. Gee, I can still almost hear her voice. It seems to be calling... Meow! meow. It's almost as if she's nearby. <laughs> She's in trouble. But it's not my problem. She's a cat and I'm a dog, and anyway, I got problems of my own. I, uh, ooh, I, 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 I have fleas. Yeah, fleas. And this is your rumpus room. Good. On account of we got us a lot of rumpus. The entire place is carpeted in wall-to-wall -wall poo chair. Uh, does that fireplace work? Well, certainly. I'll demonstrate. I can't hear her. La 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 la. Can't hear her cries for help. No, nope. can't let him do that. Even to a cat, especially a cute cat. Yeah. Calling for your dog boyfriend? Thor, stop! Stop it! You stop, Thor! Don't you touch my girlfriend, or you'll have to answer to me. Did I say that? Oh, I guess I did. <laughs> Looks like a two for one deal. You see? A working fireplace. Ooh, that's neat. So, uh, what's the uh, price on this house? It's marked down to this. <laughs> Guys, you don't want to pound me. 
I know. What you need is a hobby. Get out all those pent-up aggressions. Stamp collecting? Botany? How about macrame? Maybe, do you spell something burning? Oh, it's only me. Me? <laughs> I've ever been in, and now I think I got free. Oh, this is great, Aldo. Much more room for the kids. Nothing but the best for my baby. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, listen, about those things I said earlier about you getting lost. I didn't mean them. I mean, I did, but I don't. Yeah. How, how about tomorrow night? Yeah. I'm going out with a cat. Mother goes, come quick. Grimmy must be sick. La, 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 Sophie singing. Oh, Sophie singing. Well, he's either sick or he's got a girlfriend. How can you tell the difference? Mm, I'm not sure you can. The way I look at it, love is blind. So, I might as well be her guide dog. Oh, Sophie singing, happy Sophie humming. Sophie humming, singing, hoo-hoo. <laughs> Mother Goose and Grim will return after these messages. Kids can't resist being lost by no lucky charms, so I'll make them invisible. And me, too. No more lucky charms. What do we do? Yes, all will be lucky charms and they'll reappear. Well, there's pink hearts, orange stars, yellow moons, green clover, blue diamonds, purple horseshoes, and red balloons. Mmm. With lucky charms together again. It's a magical part of our complete breakfast. Perfect. Right you are. Lucky. Frost the lucky charms. They're magically delicious. Don't tell him I said so. But my brother is totally cool. Totally cool. He can take a Yoo-Hoo chocolate drink and do this with the cap. I'm working on it. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> but house rules. You don't have to sink one to drink one. With vitamins and minerals. Yoo-Hoo, the cool way to do chocolate. Here's your invitation to a jungle party. It's Walt Disney's classic movie, The Jungle Book on video cassette. Meet Mowgli, a boy raised by wolves. Dance with Big Old Baloo Bear and end up in the wildest adventure of all time. It's your chance to party anytime you want with the most romping, chomping, swinging, flinging party animals ever. Somebody do something with that kid. Walt Disney's The Jungle Book on video cassette. It's a singing, dancing, grooving good time. You better believe it. I like to think of myself as a guy for all seasons. Philosopher. There's only one word for us. Totally bitching. Adventurer. I'm from outer space. All that and I'm still available. You're so available, take out the trash. Don't miss the return of the family man. Coming in June to CBS. And now back to Mother Goose and Grimm. Mm. 
No, I can't tell you how to get to Sesame Street. Aw, oh, come on. One canary that size and I'm set for life. Help, Mommy Goose, Mommy Goose. Help, oh please help. Mommy Goose, only you can save me. Mommy Goose went to town. Grimmy and Attila, only you can save me. Look. Cleveland Indians abandon baseball, take up miniature golf. Not that story, this story. Wolf sighted in city. Oh, woe is all of us. Wolf, hairy, ugly wolf. I haven't finished building my new house of bricks. I have to go warn my brothers. Oh, wolf. Oh, woe is all of us. Wolf. Gee, maybe one of us should go with him in case there's trouble. Yeah, maybe one of us should. <laughs> <laughs> I like that cat. Compared to him, I've got courage. Hey, Ham, hey, wait! Wait for Grimmy, Pooh! Grimmy, this is my brother Sam. Hi, Grimmy, I'm Sam. We're Ham and Sam. Hey, Ham, have you heard from Pam? Pam went to the dam to dig for clams. Really? I got a telegram that she was down in Alabama making jam. Oh, no, that was a sham. Actually, she took the tram to Birmingham to grow some yams. Will you stop this? Tell him about the wolf coming. All right. Sam, there's a wolf coming. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh wolf, help wolf. Save, Save me from, from the, the wolf. wolf. We gotta go warn Cam. That's right. Grimmy, will you house sit for me while we warn our other brother? You got trash cans? You got me. Good. I wouldn't want anything to happen in my house of six here. Let's go out the back way, Ham. Good. On the way, I can tell you about how Pam ran to Siam to borrow a gram of margarine. It's hard to believe that's Ham's brother. They seem so different. <laughs> who is it? Wolf. Whew, that's a relief. I was afraid for a moment it was one of those people who repaint your curb number and then ask for money. You're not a pig. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Okay, send the pig out. There's no pig in here. Are you gonna huff and puff and blow the house down? With this smog? Are you kidding? I can't even blow out a birthday cake. So I, I brought my lawyer instead. I have a court order. This area is not zoned for homes, dwellings, apartments, or condominiums made of sticks. Violation of paragraph six, section B, city municipal code. Okay, boys, it's all yours. Hey, wait a minute. What does all this stuff mean? I'm a dog. I don't know from building codes. <coughs> well, it is more efficient than huffing and puffing, I guess. Oh, no. They're probably on their way to the House of Straw where Ham and Sam's brother live. I have to warn them. No, we haven't seen any wolf. Grimmy, this is our brother Cam. We're Ham, Ham and Sam, Sam and Cam. Cam. Hey, Cam, have you heard from Pam? Cam got a grand slam in Rotterdam. No, that was a flim flam. I heard she had to scram and take it on the land before... Ah, already! Don't you know there's a wolf coming? Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. save me from the wolf. We have to go finish my house of brick. Cam and I will help you. You guys do that, and I'll stay here and stall the wolf. Boy, that's marvelous. Yeah, that's marvelous. Yeah, that's marvelous. Yeah, that's marvelous. Yeah, that's marvelous. No wonder people eat bacon. It beats listening to it. It's you again. Yes, and I'm still not a pig. Have you heard from Pam? Who's Pam? Never mind. Inside joke. Any pigs in this house? Mm, doesn't look that way. Another court order. Illegal use of unsafe building material. Look at all the straw all over the place. It looks like Ray Bulger exploded. Oh no! They're probably on their way to the House of Bricks. I have to get there first. If they start with that Pam Jam Scram stuff again, I'm letting the wolf have them. How are you doing, Sam? Fine, Ham. How about you, Cam? Almost done. How about you, Ham? Oh, not bad, Cam. Guys! The, the wolf is coming! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, wolf! Oh, wolf! Get me from the wolf! Stop! You all hide in the house. Good idea. Stay in there and I'll, and I'll try to get rid of him. You again? I'm all over the place. Pigs? I kind of doubt it. Wait! This house is safe! It's not made out of sticks or straw or bubble gum or anything on safe. It's brick, see? Strong, solid brick! You can't get the city to condemn it! I'm afraid you don't understand. We don't want to condemn this house. You don't? No. My client, Mr. Wolf here, wants to buy this house. 
We're prepared to offer $700,000 with a small second mortgage. It's a deal, it's a deal. I have the papers on my car. I want a 90-day escrow. Well, I guess you didn't know. I, I gave up eating pigs. I'm in real estate development now. How about that? A happy ending. Well, after all that running around, I could use a drink of water. Oh, I guess I forgot to mention. I just wanted the land to build a new mini mall. Okay, we'll put the video rental store there, the one-hour photo processor there, the soft frozen yogurt shop there. Excuse me, I'm looking for my brother. Oh no, you, you're not. I'm Pam. I had to scram to Siam with my lamb. Oh. I was down in Alabama with a clam that looked like Maury Amsterdam. Then I got a telegram from Sam that told me to take the tram. <laughs> Mother Goose and Grim will return after these messages. The number one gram snack in honey, cinnamon, and chocolate. They are number one today. Teddy Grams are here to stay. The best of this holiday season, Fievel goes west. It's tip-top terrific, says Gene Shalit, and Jeffrey Lyons calls it loads of fun for the entire family. Steven Spielberg presents An American Tale, Fievel Goes West, rated G. Now playing at theaters everywhere. And now back to Mother Goose and Grim. This is CBS. Get ready for all new Super Zany Wacky Fun, eh? Kiwi Playoffs! Kiwi Playoffs! <laughs> it's gonna be wild! <laughs> Saturdays! Algebra. It's not like cleaning your room. It's not like homework. It's one thing you do just for kids. Chocolate, caramel, and that great cookie crunch. One of life's great kinks. Twix. <laughs> now, chew on that. Oh, yeah. Now you can bring some magic back to school with you with Kool-Aid coolers. Wacky magic tricks on the back of Kool-Aid coolers boxes. All kinds of wild tricks. Enough tricks to put on your own magic show. You can collect them all. Kool-Aid coolers. When the drink is done, there's magic fun. And now back to American Tales.
The sweet smell of success. Ahem. Does this look like a library, Mr. Moskowitz? Um, um, well, um, not really. I, I mean, no! Mama, can I get my allowance for next week today? Oh. Fifle, you spent next week's allowance last week. I did? But I just gotta find out what happens to Montana Mouse. He's the bravest, roughest, toughest, sharpshooting cowboy ever to ride across the range. Yeah! <laughs> and he wears a frilly bonnet. No, he doesn't. Huh? Hey, where's my hat? Allow me, cowboy hat. By Jinkies, I haven't seen a performance like that since Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. Oh, well, his family gets a show every day, I'm afraid. Fievel, Montana Mouse will just have to wait. Okay. Madam, if this boy inherits your good sense, why, he will grow up to be a successful mouse indeed. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Mr. Dr. Travis T. Hippocrates, dispenser of miracle cures for everything, madam. Uh, Travis T. to my friends. Yes, thank you, Mr. Dr. Hippopotamus. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must finish my errands. Oh, and don't be late for dinner, Fievel. Yes, Mama. You know, Fievel, I could use an enterprising young cowboy like you in my business. Like me? Absolutely. And as a token of good faith and advance on your first paycheck, a copy of Mississippi Mouse for you. Montana Mouse? Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Keep the change. <laughs> well, time to go to work, partner. Ah, here we are. Now, your job is to pass out these free candies. Compliments of me to let every mouse in Green River know that I'm here. You mean I just give it away? Exactly. Uh, do a good job. Why, well, my goodness, there's no telling how many books you could buy. Huh? Uh-oh, uh, uh. customers only, partner. <laughs> Ever mouse in town but you. Right. Every mouse in town but me. <laughs> See ya, partner. Fine, lad. <laughs> Courtesy of Dr. Travis T. Hippocrates, my new partner. Ooh la la, for me? Fievel, you are such a sweetheart. No, I'm not. I'm a cowboy. That too, chérie. <laughs> Hi, tiger. <laughs> Rifles inside. I gotta concentrate. Tiger, <laughs> I'm right here. Huh? <laughs> oh, boy, you mice are fast. Ooh, what'd you get, Five? Huh? Huh? Let me see. Hey, if I guess what it is, can I have half? Uh -huh. Cream puff. No, no, wait, wait. Napoleon. Ooh, pimento loaf, right? <laughs> It's candy, Tiger. Oh, that was going to be my next guest. Honest. Oh, let me have one. Come on, fight. Please. Sorry, Tiger. I'd like to, but Travis T said customers only. Like them. <laughs> Sweet candy. A ringo, a wallaby, a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Here, take a few. Courtesy of Dr. Travis T. Apocrates, my partner. Huh? <laughs> Dink Willy Wonka Bat Kanga Hop Ding. <laughs> what do you say, Fife? Better than Jack? Huh? Give me the candy. 
Sorry, Tiger. Travis T. said you gotta be a mouse, too. A mouse? Boy, this is tough. Mama, who is this Dr. T? And why he pays our boy to give away candy? Oh, such a nice and charming doctor, Papa. I'm sure he has a good reason. Well, a job is a big responsibility, Fifo. Fifo sleeping. He's tired, Papa. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Excuse me. Viva? <laughs> Yasha, no, no. It's okay. I threw mine first. Come with me, Tanya. Uh. I have a surefire cure for hiccups. And I'll put our little businessman to bed. Fifo, uh, where is your sister? Hiccups. Hiccups? Yup. Mama said she hiccuped all night. Indeed. Uh, well, then, um, <coughs> Lorna, would you read today's poem? Um, yes, sir. Mary had a little... Uh, sorry. <laughs> Lamb. Its fleece was as snow, and everywhere that went, I'm sorry. Allow me! I'm quiet! <clears throat> the lamb was sure to hiccup. Oh my. Class, dismissed! <laughs> I know right where I'm going. Okay, Fife. Ta -da! <laughs> what do you think? Give me the candy, please. <laughs> Sorry, Tiger, I can't. Ah, oh, come on, please. Can't. Besides, real mice eat cheese. Cheese? <clears throat> Whatever you say, Fife. Oh, I do not understand. This medicine always worked in Russia. You must go with your brother right away. Now, if we proceed extremely quietly to her, I beg your pardon? It wasn't me, boss. Must have been them fur balls over there. Shh. Hmm. Tracking a mouse with hiccups, not very sporting, but um, easier than wrestling over beef bones with a bulldog, eh, Tuna? Oh, no question about it, boss. <gasps> Going somewhere, flea bags? <laughs> Us? Uh -uh. Not really. Run for it, sis! Uh -oh. <laughs> I did my. Bible will return after these messages. You're not going to cut her hair. Sure I am. She's Cool Cuts Kara. Cool Cuts Kara, let you cut her hair. Give her style, give her flair. Beautiful. Let's add new hair and start again. Extra hair sold separately. Oh, I want to cut her hair. There are so many styles you can create. Now she's ready for a date. So if you got her scissors, her comb and then cut Kara's hair again and again. Cool Cuts Kara comes with scissors, comb, smock and stand, even extra hair. We promised you a better cookie and a bigger taste. Come on in, I'll show you. We're filling the cookie jars and lunch boxes of America with over 40 varieties of cookies. All your favorites that taste as good or better than a kid could ask for. That's why we're now America's fastest growing popular priced cookie brand. We promise, we deliver. Delicious brand cookies. If 
you can find a better cookie or a bigger taste, buy it. And now back to American Tales. <laughs> you know, dear Firefall, it's at moments like these that I feel compelled to say... Table for two, please. Let's go, sis! <laughs> hey, come on, boss. Gee, boss, you don't look so good. So, they want to play cat and mouse, do they? Come, Chulan, and for heaven's sake, watch where you're going. You don't say. Everybody's got the hiccups. Uh-huh. Almost everybody. Well, it just so happens that I have here a tonic that is guaranteed to cure the hiccups. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! However, I'm afraid my miracle tonic is not uh, quite ready. Oh. <gasps> Which gives you time to help me, partner. Really? How? by spreading the word that the cure will be ready late this afternoon right here at the medicine wagon. And, as always, for your trouble. The doctor said the cure will be ready this afternoon at the wagon, Mr. Schimmel. Oh, thank you, Fievel. I'm sure everyone will be there. Now, this sounds like a gathering the boss won't want to miss. <laughs> wow. What do you think, Fife? Mmm, cheese. See? <laughs> Just like a mouse, huh? Limburger. Oh, <laughs> great. P.U. Mice hate Limburger, Tiger. They do? I knew that. Of course, I'm a mouse now, right? So how about some... <gasps> candy? Sorry, Tiger. I've got work to do. But... Ah, oh, come on, Fife. Just one itty-bitty little peasy weasy pity pleasy. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. How about two, five? Wait, two and five? <laughs> that's seven. Perfect. Mmm. Oh, sarsaparilla. Oh, is this cat heaven or what? Mmm. Lick your chops. Lick your chops. The shimmels, the smice, the bakery. I guess I told everybody about the cure. And the good thing, the whole town has the hiccups. You too, Mama? Even your papa. Gosh, Faisal. Everyone but Yasha. Kitty, Faisal? Oh, sure, Yasha. No, Faisal. Yasha's much too young for hard candy. That's why I didn't give her any. Gee, it's gone. I must have dropped it. 27? 28? <laughs> Hi, Fife. I, 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 brought, I brought you candy. <laughs> you ate them all? <gasps> I did? I mean, I, I, gee, I mean, I, it, it just was a few... Uh, oh, 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 Fife, this feels funny. Wow! Wait a minute. Candy? Hiccups? Uh, I gotta go see my partner. All right, so you caught me. You want to know how it works? Well, it's simple. Supply and demand, son. You see, these candies supply the hiccups, as you have so astutely discovered. And the hiccups create the demand for a cure, for which folks will pay dearly. And voila, we're rich. <laughs> so there is a cure? Uh, well, uh, not exactly. You see, time is the real cure. But there are these hiccup cure bottles. But that's... Cheating? Oh, harsh word, partner. 
<laughs> Especially coming from a boy who now owns every Montana mouse novel ever written. Exactly. You see, the way I see it, Fievel, you and me, we're cut from the same crooked cloth. And that's how everybody else will see it, too. So, I propose that you and I team up and clam up permanently. Eh, hey, partner? But that's wrong. I won't do it. Fievel, my boy, I'm afraid that was the wrong answer. Mama, where's Fievel? He should be here. Look! All right, now who wants hiccup cure? Mama, Papa. <laughs> There's plenty for everybody. Now don't crowd. Keep that cash coming. Say goodbye to those hiccups. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, now, there's no need to push. Everyone will be served. Oh, everyone will be served, all right. Papa! Mama, for dinner, that is. <laughs> oh, no! American tale for return after these passages. We're my little pony girls with the cutest pony. mean baby is wet. Baby drinking wet ponies come with a bottle, changing table, and diapers that show you when baby needs changing. We're my little pony girl. We're my little pony girl. Baby drinking wet ponies, each sold separately with everything shown here. What goes first? The graham cracker, the marshmallow, or the chocolate? Mm. Gee, s'mores are hard to make. Hey, who ate the chocolate? There's an easier way to enjoy the campfire goodness of s'mores. Suddenly s'mores. Just pop them in the microwave and they turn into an ooey gooey chocolatey fudge graham sandwich. Suddenly s'mores. Suddenly the great taste of s'mores in seconds. Check out my Rice Krispies. What's it saying? For you to go upstairs and make my bed. <laughs> Mine says Margie Janer's after me. My Rice Krispies say, Pop, Pop, Crackle, Snap, Pop, Pop. I didn't know we could sing. <laughs> and now we're from Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the fun part of your complete breakfast. I can hear them speaking to me. <laughs> Who ever heard of a talking cereal? Be shot, don't be right then. What do your Rice Krispies say to you? Don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> Petite nappé is gentle cloud bubbles just for you. Shiny hair shampoo just for you. There's a soft spray of peaches and a soft glow of powder. There's more and more. Petite nappé. traveling sales mouse and right about now I start traveling but this is our fault and that's my whole family out there yes my dear boy and those are also whole cats out there who cares you may be a coward but I'm not <laughs> J 
Gentlemen, gentlemen, I am happy to announce that each of these hiccuping cheese eaters will be auctioned off to the highest bidder. All right now, let's start the bidding. Uh, 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 I wouldn't if I were you. What's this? Terrible risk eating hiccup-infected rodents. Why, well, just listen to them. <laughs> oh, dessert. <laughs> Gentlemen, please. This is a simple ploy to save their scrawny little necks. Think, he's a mouse? They're mice? And you are all cats. Soon to be sick cats if you eat those sickly rodents. Unless you protect yourselves with my patented anti-hiccup lozenges, specially formulated for intelligent cats of the feline persuasion, like yourselves. Ignore him, gentlemen. Let's start the bidding. Oh, a nice trip. Oops. Oh. As you can see, fellows, it would appear that this good doctor makes house falls. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, boss. <laughs> Friends, let it never be said that Cat or Wall is careless with the health of his valued customer. <laughs> Easy does it, boys. Plenty for everyone. Right, Tuna? Right, boss. And now, uh, since our educated friend here was kind enough to help us, I say we auction him off first. Eh, hey, gentlemen? An appetizer of sorts? <laughs> what have I bid for this delicious tidbit? And remember, he is an MD, which in this case means mighty delicious. Oh. I bid a nickel. A nickel? Yeah, a nickel. Uh, so, to, to Sweet William for a nickel. Uh, what the? Gesundheit. Uh -huh. Ooh. Ooh, Tall man, please calm yourselves. <laughs> A party. <laughs> Turn them all around. Cha cha cha. Well, Fife, it looks like your partner saved our biscuits and cooked his goose at the same time. I'll say, Papa. And now Montana Mouse will have to save his neck. Yeah! Oh, Fife, I hate when you talk like that. don't know what to say, partner. Thanks to you, I'm a changed mouse. You mean it? You have my solemn oath. No more tricks, Fifle. I have turned over a new leaf. Great. Well, good luck, son, and say so long to Miami Mouse for me, would you? Montana! Exactly. So long, Travis T. Madam, this child is a prodigy. Really? Oh, unquestionably. Take it from me, Travis T. Hippocrates, world's finest physician. You will want to protect that throat, however. How about one of my famous medicinal lozenges to wet your whistle? <laughs> sure. Well, that's odd. So long, partner. Yes, exactly. So long. Partner! Ooh, 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 ooh. More candy! What do I have to be this time, Fife? A monkey? Ooh, 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 ooh. A cow? Ooh. A cantaloupe? <laughs> Sorry, Fife. I don't do fruit. <laughs> Wait up. Wait up. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. 
American Tales will return after these messages. Check out my Rice Krispies. What's it say? For you to go upstairs and make my bed. <laughs> Mine says Margie Gaynor's after me. My Rice Krispies say, pop, pop, crackle, snap, pop, pop. I didn't know we could sing. <laughs> and now we're from Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the fun part of your complete breakfast. I can hear them speaking to me. <laughs> Who ever heard of a talking cereal? They shot Joker the Madison. What do your Rice Krispies say to you? Don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> Henry, will you please see what those boys are up to? Introducing WWF Wrestling Buddy. Wrestling Buddies from Tonka. Tonka, bop em. Wrestling Buddies are looking for action. Hey, fellas, what's going on? Nothing, Dad. Drop oh. kick! Who do you think you are? That's Hulk Hogan! Wrestling hey, Buddies want to be your buddies. Henry, what's going on up there? Nothing, dear. WWF Wrestling Buddies, new from Tonka. Each sold separately. There are three shrimp out of water, fishing for real excitement. I'll get it! The all-new Amazing Life Sea Monkeys, today on CBS Kid TV. And now back to American Tales. This is CBS. Where's Waldo? Finding him can be a real adventure. He's there somewhere, and you can always find him on the brand new Where's Waldo, starting Saturday on Kid TV. Hi, I'm Kevin Cooney. TV8 would like to salute the graduating seniors of the following high schools for participating in non-alcoholic prom and graduation parties. <laughs> Graduation is a class act, so just say no and celebrate smart. Help a cancer patient at MD Anderson. For nerdy dudes. You see, boys? You see? <laughs> I'm so excited. I've never ordered anything from a catalog before. <laughs> Put it down, easy. 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 Oh. What'd you get, Professor? Well, I'll show you. It is a combustor scope. Oh. What does this baby do? What does it do? What does it do? <laughs> what doesn't it do? <laughs> Windows? A little joke. Oh, well, you know what that means. Time for my bridge club. <laughs> and boy, they're gonna like my bridge. <laughs> to the loot, sea monkeys. And stay away from my combustoscope, fellas. <laughs> I wonder what 
this is for? Oh, cut it out, Bill. You remember what the professor said? He said to stay away from it. Obviously, I'm nowhere near it. Maybe we should turn this. Uh, something tells me we should not have done that. Machine. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Uh, the worst that can happen? The, uh, the Martians, they could invade the planet. The ozone could be more depleted. I could be allergic to chocolate. <laughs> Listen, guys, I'd love to stick around and help you, but I've got to get back home and help my parents. They're, they're having a second wedding. <gasps> you mean they're not married? No, they're renewing their marriage vows. It's just a way to show how much they still love each other. <laughs> Lady and Sea Monkey, once again, Dave has saved the day. The professor will never notice the difference. Um, guys, maybe you should just order a new machine. Uh, yeah, right. How are we going to do that? It's easy. Just order one out of the catalog. Brilliant! Genius! Tsunami! All you need is $92.15 plus tax. $92.15 plus tax. Oh, where are we going to get that kind of money? Uh, well, uh, this might sound weird, but you could try and get jobs. Uh, oh, oh, sure. What, what kind of jobs do you think you'd want? Uh, I'd settle for anything with a medical comprehensive plan. Well, we, we can't, can't have just any jobs. Not with our collective knowledge and experience. Right. I mean, we're movers and shakers. We're power lunch, six-figure kind of guys. We need jobs that utilize our professional skills and business acumen. A real high-powered executive type thing. I could not have said it any better. I couldn't have said it at all. Lemonade! Lemonade! Nice, fresh lemonade! Only $92.15. Oh, glass plus tax! <laughs> hey, lemonade lady! Say, that's an awful steep price for one glass of lemonade. Yeah, but it's really, really good. <laughs> ah! Ah! What is in this stuff? That's awful. Oh, it's an old family recipe. Lemons, sugar, water, fish. Fish? Guppies. The zing that makes you sing. That'll be $92.15, please. Plus tax. Well, that's the fifth one today. Heavy sigh. Uh, what are we going to do? we got to raise more money, or we're going to get in some humongous trouble. Oh, just relax. we got to get some money, more money, making advice from Sheila. Uh, that's right. I'm with him. Me too. Hello. Wow. Delicious. Ha, ha, ha. We're into dance magic, dance magic, Barbie In your gown, twirling around She's changing to a ballerina Barbie doll and change your own dress and lips that change color with warm or cold water. Ken doll sold separately from Mattel. The big game of the year. Oh, how am I supposed to know that? Come on, Wendell. We need you to make more cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, we're getting low. Cinnamon toast crunch cereal. Look is at all that cinnamon toast crunch on TV. Oh, goodness, Wendell? Cinnamon is a big oh. Just the right amount of sugar. Sugar? Oh, what a crunch. I'm getting hungry. He's totally into it. This crunch is part of his complete breakfast. Wendell. Oh, oh, no. Wendell's gone cinnamon munchy crunchy crazy. Come back. 
Uh-oh. Without Wendell, we can't make any more Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What? No more? And well, let's look at the board. How will they get Wendell out of the TV? You can find out. One Magic Rescue Screen free in specially marked boxes of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What's hot? Hot Wheels. What's cool? Power Command Racers. This is how you set them up. Say the word to give them a blast. Help! Look at them go. They're mega fast. Plus, 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 Power power. Command Racers. You can race them, you can jump them, you can crash them into something. Power Command Racers. From the tip, when you're ready to race, just give them a yell. New Power Command Racers, blowing them to make them go. Power! So hot, so cool. New Hot Wheels Power Command Racers sold in two packs. Race sets sold separately. Some cars not for use with some sets. Hi, I'm Dave, one of the Amazing Live Sea Monkeys, and I'd like to take a minute to show you the slides from the Cooperstein's vacation. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, wasn't that nice? <laughs> I think it's the most romantic thing the whole world that you and dad are renewing your marriage vows. I think it was romantic too, dear. If I could only move a little, I feel like a mummy in this. Why did you pick that gown? Oh, I didn't pick it. Your father did. And you know how he has to have everything done his way. Remember, everything must go perfectly. I promised my wife this wedding would be different. Is that clear, Miss Butts? Mr. Brentwood! As wedding coordinator, it's my job to do all the worry. Nothing escapes the eye of Bridget Butts. Nothing. Good, because... Wait! There's spinach in your teeth. Massage those gums, Mr. Brentwood. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> She's good. You! Straighten your tie! You! Stop eating those peanuts! And you! Change into something a little less grab! I am the justice of the peace! Well, it'll do. What time is it? Hmm, ten minutes to go. Wonder what's keeping my wedding assistants. They're late. You! Call my agency, see what's keeping my wedding assistance. And try to smile there, you're bringing the whole room down. I would like to do very mean things to her. Hi, Sheila! Nice wax job. Well, oh, Dave, Aquarius isn't a good time to visit. My parents are renewing their wedding vows. Oh, a wedding! Oh, but look how we're dressed. Oh, oh, Sheila, not another word. We completely understand your problem. Sea monkeys, let's babooski! <laughs> that was a close call. Another fashion dilemma. Totally avoid it. Guys! Oh, 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 Sheila, listen, listen. Here's the scoop. Tootie Fruity, would you like some? Uh, no, thanks. <laughs> oh, dare you! <laughs> okay, Sheila, look, look, we gotta find a, a quick money-making scheme so we can replace the professor's machine. Well, uh, why don't you try calling an employment agency? Oh. It's their job to find you a job. Okay. Hey, I like the idea. Let's call. <laughs> Hello, Handy Dandy Employment Agency. Yes, uh, my brothers and I are desirous of current employment at the present time. Uh-huh. 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 What are they saying? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, 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 no, 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 thank you. No, 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 thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, they said there's no current employment available, but as soon as something opens up, it's ours! <laughs> Hi, assistants! Oh, boy, 
Boy, the agency sure works fast. You're here for the jobs, right? Uh, excuse me, I think there's some mistake here. Boy, I'll say, your hair's a disgrace. Here, try this. <laughs> now, you two, tidy up inside. And you, go direct the guest traffic. And don't forget to come back. <laughs> I get to play in traffic. I get to play in traffic. Darling, you look lovely. Oh, thank you, dear. And why not? It cost over $10,000. Sweetheart, how is it you never asked me what I wanted for our wedding? <gasps> I can't breathe. Stop this jibber-jabber. Everything's under control. Now pull yourselves together. I've got a wedding to throw. they doing here? Those are my new assistants. Poor dirt. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Oh, those are the yummy ones. It's delicious. I know. I've tried them all. <clears throat> Would you please excuse me? Certainly. I don't know what happened to the rest of the guests, but we've got to get started. Start the music. wanted everything tidy. Time to start earning some of that paycheck. embarrassment. Mrs. Brentwood's dress is dragging on the ground. You know, whoever did it, they forgot to fit it correctly. Hey! <laughs> believe what you did to my wife's dress. You don't have to thank us. It's it's our job. You look lovely, mademoiselle. Look what you've done to her dress! Actually, dear, it's not that bad. I kind of like it. Squeeze! 
excuse me. Can you all uh, squeeze together? Oh, oh, no. Okie dokie, the self timer set. Stay oh, in oh, oh, I can't see a thing. So, Mrs. Butts, what do you think? Do we get paid? Paid? You're fired. Fired? No jobs means no money. Now we'll never replace the professor's machine. Oh, Pooh. And now these messages. Uh-oh, a dirty diaper. Baby, uh-oh, there she goes. I give her a bottle and then... Baby, uh-oh, there she goes. Needs her diaper changed again. Baby, uh-oh, gets her diapers dirty. You rinse them clean with warm water. All clean. Looks like diaper rag. I'll make it better. Baby, uh-oh, there she goes. Looks like her diaper's just wet. Baby, uh-oh, I love her so. Baby, uh-oh, comes with her own bottle and two color-changed diapers from Hasbro. Watch me trick, Fred. I'm a rapping detective on an inside case. There's a dude who wants your pebbles because he loves the fruity taste. He loves the fruity taste. Want to protect him? I'm your man. Stake out that corner while I stick to my plan. Mmm, grape, orange, berry, lemon, and lime. Bonnie's got Fred's pebbles. One more time. Ah, Bonnie's got Fred's pebbles. My pebbles? Bonnie! Uh-oh, case closed. Pops pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Ghostbuster Bulletin, ghosts have been sighted. In the basement! Proton pack ready, track set! And with my new ghost never, all systems are go. Rock! Let's get him! Rock! Zap him! Nice hit! In the ghost trap! Ooh. For ghosts! Ghost never, nab him! Gotcha! Rock! Lights on! Lights out! We ain't afraid no! New Ghost Snapper from the real Ghostbusters. Proton Pack and Ghost Trap each sold separately. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to bear witness to the bond of love between this husband and this wife. Don't mind us. We're just tiptoeing out on our marshmallow feet. Would you please sit down and let me get on with the ceremony? <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Brentwood. Are you ready to make your vow? I've written a little something to help me express my feelings for Barbara. Great sheet! Do you want some popcorn? I love it! Okay, you slob! Ah. Give me that. My love for you is like an expensive German car that roars. A stock that soars. You are the gold card among my plastic. You are the top of the line VCR of my soul. Oh, Francis, you have such a way with words. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant. Oh, I call, I call. <laughs> Would you sit down? Now, before we exchange the rings and I remarry this couple, I must ask you, are there any objections? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, my feet are killing me. There's not enough salt in this popcorn. The two-party system is an antiquated dinosaur. I hate algebra. That's it! That's it! I'm going! You're all bad! Thank, Thank you. you! This is a disaster! Who will marry them now? I, uh... Oh, we will! But you can't perform a wedding. Oh, yes, we can. We're certified. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing, Dave? Yeah, sure. Uh, all I gotta do is 
read from the book, right? Great! Huh? I know how to read. Okay, join hands. Bow to your partner, buddy, friend! Bow to the center and do it again! What? Just do it, dear. Now go to go with the outside too. Make the way and step on through. So sorry. Oh, Francis, I've been trying to tell you. This is just the kind of wedding I've always wanted. Something fucking. You mean you like it? I loved it. Well, that's all I care about. Finally! Back to reality! Now, cut the cake and give a piece to her. been so great about bossing us around that we want you to have the first piece. Oh, I'd be honored. Monkeys! Oh! We didn't mean to make such a mess. We were just trying to make a little money. Well, please don't be mad. Well, I hate to admit it, but thanks to you three, my wife loved the wedding. Just name your price, boys. You've earned it. You say it, I'll pay it. <laughs> Uh, uh, Mr. Brentwood, why don't you just make that check out for $92.15? Plus tax! Let's booger! There it is, a brand new IM Beam Bang Combustoscope. The professor will never notice a difference. Hello, boy. <laughs> Well, hello, my little combustoscope. I'm good. I'm glad to see that you little sea monkeys listen to me and stay away from my combustoscope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we didn't stay away from it. We broke it. But we saved up enough money to buy a new one. I, I hope you're not mad at us. Mad at you? Well, how can I be mad? Because you boys showed me responsibility. Huh? And that's the main thing. So what do you say we turn this baby on? All right, I just press that button right now. You broke it. Broke it? That's what it's supposed to do. Isn't that fun, boys? <laughs> Barbie doll and change your own dress and lips that change color with warm or cold water. Ken dolls sold separately from Mattel.
With the book of magic, I'll make a new batch of lucky charms. The delicious part, we can eat breakfast. A touch of magic. Wow. Ah, I use too much magic. Now my marshmallow colors are all mixed up. Blue hearts, green moons, purple stars. And I can't read the book to fix them. Kids, you've got to help me before these mixed up marshmallows get into me lucky charm cereal. They already are. What do we do? Kids, you can get your own box of mixed up lucky charms and help Lucky fix up the mix up. Help me, I'll be lucky charms to stay mixed up forever. Hey, we're getting in trouble? Yeah, it's fun getting into trouble. <laughs> yeah. It's fun getting into trouble. It's trouble. First one home wins, but watch out. Back to start. What are you guys doing? Getting into trouble. It's fun getting into trouble. Where's Waldo? Finding him can be a real adventure. He's there somewhere, and you can always find him on the brand new Where's Waldo, starting Saturday on Kid TV. This is CBS. McDonald's is proud to present... When I grow up, I want to be a television producer. Okay, great, thanks. Okay, everybody, that's five. I loved watching TV when I was a kid, and the stars were my best friends right in our living room. And then I found out that it takes lots and lots of people working behind the camera to create those shows. And I could not imagine anything more exciting. Now as a television producer... Set up for the reverses. Okay, great, thanks. I work behind the scenes. I make sure that everything from makeup to lighting is done well and on time. And the people I work with are a lot of fun. But my reward comes when I know that millions of people are enjoying the television show that I help to create. To be a producer, you have to know all of your school subjects well, especially math, which I use every day to figure out the cost of the show. So if you have a dream, follow it. What you discover may lead you to something more exciting than you can imagine. When I grow up. Tuesday, it's that comedy giant like you've never seen him before in... A movie? Join Morgan Fairchild, James Brolin, and Tony Bill in Pee Wee's Big Adventure, the movie, Tuesday. Hit it. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Did you say him? Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where, 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 where's Wally? Did you say him, huh? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs> Greetings, Wally Watchers. Let's take a glimpse into the workings of our hero's thrill-packed life. Uh-oh. Yes! Pardon me, but I'm just finishing my bath. Oops. Uh, sorry. And TV time costs a fortune. <laughs> Oh, whoop. I see you're interested in my latest acquisition. It's a gift from the Ooga Booga Nooga people of the Lower Begonia, which is much like the Upper Begonia, only lower. An eel can generate enough electricity to make a refrigerator run. Uh -huh. Unless, of course, it prefers walking. <laughs> <laughs> that walking stick will soon be mine. Yes! Little does Wally know that he's being watched by that mean, nasty, loathsome... Uh, I believe you left out disgusting. Oh, yeah, sorry. And disgusting, Adler! Thanks much. Oh, 
hey, I'd like a large pepperoni pizza, please. Who? Wizard Whitebeard. Nice to see you. Why, hey, hello, Wally. Hey, it's good to see you here for a pizza, too, because I needed to talk to you. I, uh, think you've made a mistake, Whitebeard. This is my home. Hmm. When did you move into a pizza parlor, Wally? <laughs> oh, hey, I'm glad you did, because I wanted to tell you that you're going on a journey into a fantastic forest. A fantastic forest? Great! Why? Yes. Why? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are going to save the forest and do it with fruit. <laughs> save a forest, big whoop. I'll wait until he returns and steal the stick. Taxi! Oh, and you'll use a magic priceless fruit. I'll stay. <clears throat> Listen closely. Clean as mud, don't call it quits. Because the back near one, the front omits. And still by more, the middle splits. You'll find your quest is just the pits. I'll find my quest is just the pits. Well, they can't all be easy. Phew. A little to the left and... Ow. But remember, Wally... You must beware of the... the... Hey, is my pizza ready yet? <laughs> Come, Wolf! This magic fruit is a plum assignment. <laughs> Wait for me! Uh -oh. I'll tell you, you know, the service here is terrible. It's a wonder they sell any pizza at all. Listen up, Wally Watchers. Be on the lookout for a two-headed unicorn, an upside-down ladder, two trees in love, and a gray 79 Chevy with a dent in the right fender. Why should they look for that? Because it's my car and it was stolen. Well, Wolf, you're the tree pro. I'll need your help more than ever. Ah, the mark of a true adventurer, conserving his energy till he needs it. What was that? Look, Wolf. They're green. They live in the forest. They're women. They must be green forest women. <laughs> While he's lollygagging with them, I'll nab his stick. Hi, ladies. Can we join you? Uh-oh. Time to go, girls. The angle of the trajectory is three times the square root. Uh-huh. This should do it. Sometimes I wish I would have been a dentist instead of a cartoon villain. Ow. Oh, wow, thanks. That was Congressional Medal of the Forest stuff, kid. Oh, hi, I'm Green Queen Emeralda. See? It says so, right there on my ID. I'm honored, Your Majesty. This is my dog, Woof, and my name's Wally. Yeah, pleased to meet you, Walnut. Lee. Wally. Same thing. Pardon me, but what's happened to your forest? Oh, it's those evil gray knights. They're tearing up the place. Oh, if this keeps up, we'll lose our home. Maybe not. Do you know anything about some magic fruit? That stuff? It's supposed to grow in a lost grove. Why? I believe it blooms and ripens once every thousand years. And legend says that it's supposed to happen today. Hey, how'd you know that? I read that book. Trouble is, we've never been able to find the fruit. <laughs> wow, that was a close one. Aha! This much I'm sure of. 
This tree did not fall by accident. The current wind velocity of 6.3 kilometers per hour was a big factor. Also, there are these tidbits, too. Well, they probably cut down this tree, too. The evil Grey Knights, I presume? Yeah, just look at those helmets. Somebody's missing a lot of mop buckets. Who's the menacing fellow who looks as if he'd like to twist me into a knot and throw me off of a cliff? That's the Evil Knight's leader who thinks we're hiding the location of the Lost Grove. He's mean, he's nasty, and he could use some Under Armour deodorant. Those women are keeping me from finding the magic fruit. I must find it. Oh. Oh. Excuse me, Chappie. My name's Outlaw. Who are you? I am the evil leader of the evil knights. My name's Fred. <laughs> Fred? What kind of self-respecting evil knight has a name like Fred? After that, Fred, let's talk. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, yes! Fred is riding his horse, and he's getting closer and closer and closer! Now he's getting farther and farther and farther! Help! Let me go! Our queen, he's taken her! I'll be darned. Hey, he's taken Wolf, too! The queen and Wolf are kidnapped! The forest is in ruin! What will our hero do, Wally Watchers? If you'll be patient, I'm sure I can figure out a way to Fred's hideout. Where's Waldo will return after these messages. Pretty cut and grow, you need a haircut. I snip and clip your hair away. Pretty cut and grow, you're getting prettier every day. With pretty cut and grow, you can really cut her hair. You can't do this for every other dog. Pretty cut and grow, you're getting prettier every day. And it's easy to give her long hair again. I can twist and tie and trim this way. Pretty cut and grow, you're getting prettier every day. Pretty Cut and Grow comes with comb, barrette, scissors, and extra hair. Each sold separately from Play School. Yo, Snap, take a picture of me. Come on. <laughs> okay, everybody, say cheeseburger. Cheeseburger! Speaking of cheeseburgers, let's go to Burger King. Look out, nature dudes. We're coming. Burger King's taking Homer, Marge, and all the Simpsons camping, including you-know-who. <laughs> Now you can get one Simpsons character and camping scene in every kids' club meal at Burger King. The Burger King Kids' Club, just for fun, just for you. Last season, Murphy was caught between two men. Jerry. Jake. Jeez. Will she or won't she? Is she or isn't she? Emmy-winning Murphy Brown premieres Monday. Be better. You mean we gotta go back? And now back to Where's Waldo? Whoa! As Wally heads deeper into the forest, rest assured that he's figured out what to do. No, but I had time to eat a very nice lunch. <laughs> but what about our queen? What about our forest? Don't worry. We'll find both your queen and my brave wolf, Miss... Uh, pardon me, but what's your name? I'm Greeny Green, and this is Greenola, that's Greenetta, this is Greenilla, Greenilla, and that's Green Green, and that's Green Green Green. That makes sense. She's greener than Green Green, but not as green as Green 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 Green. But how are we going to get our queen back? Yeah! Ladies, please, I've never failed to get back a captured queen. <laughs> Or save a forest, either. Onward! Hooray! Oh, let go of me! Just see if I send you guys a Christmas card next year. I say, Fred, since it was my idea to kidnap these two, how about making me a knight? 
pretty please? I guess that's a yes. Give this new knight his armor. Oh. Good enough. Fits like a glove. All right, Queen Emeralda. Tell me where the magic grove is, or else. Or else what? I'm not sure nobody's ever asked that. Sire, allow your newest knight to handle her. Okay, madam. Where's the fruit? And where's Wally's stick, too? <laughs> Is this nighty night for Ardlaw? <laughs> Get it? Nighty night. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Get a grip, buddy. Get it. <clears throat> oh, yes. Meanwhile, Wally continues his search. <laughs> nighty night. <laughs> Let's see. How did Whitebeard's riddle go? Clear as mud, don't call it quits. Mud! We're on the right track! Wow, look at that! They're the living mud, our friends. Ah, yes. First discovered by Professor Otto von Slinker on Thursday, April 9th in 1821. That's right! Well, perhaps you've heard of living mud from the land of many soggy rains? How do you do it? Say, I wonder if you know the way to Fred's hideout. No, sorry, but we'd love to help stop him and save the forest. Okay, I'll remember that. My dog Woof will be happy to show me. How? He was captured by that knight. <laughs> All it takes is a little bit of Mama Waldini's dog food and stuffing mix. Don't worry, matey. I'll stop him. Woof loves it, and it tastes good in a turkey, too. Woof, old buddy, can you find the queen for us? It's a uniblorse. Wow, Whitebeard's riddle. The back near one, the front omits. Come, Woof. Let's get the queen and find that fruit. There's no end to a clue like that. And on that terrible line, let's see how the queen is doing. I told you to back off, Buckethead. <sighs> How could one woman do so much damage? <laughs> well, that explains it all. Excuse me? You fellows wouldn't mind if I take the queen home, would you? Pizza dough! That's Wally! Gee, Nito! Sturdy armor forged in the ancient Klepperman foundry! Pleasant fellows, aren't they? Follow them. We must find the hidden fruit grove. Will Wally find the fantastic forest fruit before Fred finds it first? Or will you find Wally first? He's in there someplace. Good luck! We'll be back! Where's Waldo? We'll return after these messages.
Look out, nature dudes. We're coming. Burger King's taking Homer, Marge, and all the Simpsons camping, including you-know-who. <laughs> Now you can get one Simpsons character and camping scene in every Kids Club meal at Burger King. The Burger King Kids Club, just for fun, just for you. Okay, you kids, settle down. Hey, look what I got. May I use your eraser? Uh, sure. But this isn't an eraser. It's a... <laughs> now, in boxes of Captain Crunch cereal, there's a fake honey eraser, glue bottle, or stapler. Each with a secret compartment, and a thousand kids are gonna win. Uh -huh. One fake out and a chance to win $100 in each specially marked box of Cabin Crunch. To enter free, write fake out box 1602 Boston Mass 02277. Crayola crayons let you rock. Crayola markers let you roll. Crayola Crayola rocks! Crayola 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 rocks! Crayola crayons and markers. You don't just draw with them. You rock and roll with them. Crayola Crayola rocks! The crayons and markers you rock and roll with also come in these cool Crayola art kits and organizers. Crayola rocks! Whoa! And now back to Where's Waldo? Whoa! Did you find Wally? He's by that tree! No. He's behind that rock! No. Where the heck is he? Right here, attempting to solve Whitebeard's riddle. Good luck, Walleye. <laughs> That's Lee. Wally. Okay, okay. I never met anyone who changed his name so much. I'd still like to know how are we gonna find that grove and save the forest? Simple, ladies, by solving Whitebeard's riddle. I wonder what he meant. And by still more, the middle splits. Huh? That's it! The stream splits in the middle! So what? Unless I miss my guess, we're here! Ah, the magic grove! <gasps> I don't believe it! You did it! You found the fruit! It was nothing. I just used Whitebeard's riddle and basic observational abilities to deduce the possibilities of... Great, Willie. Wait till the girls see this! Remember, ladies, whatever we do, Fred must never, ever, ever, ever find the magic fruit. He will now. Oh, why is there always someone using the payphone when you need it? Oh, fiddle-dee-dee. -dee. I'll go and tell Fred myself. Look at the bright side, Wally Watchers. Maybe Oddlaw will get lost in the forest. Well, I guess he did find Fred. Yeah. What? What is it, boy? <laughs> oh, no, it's Fred. Come on, girls. We've got to stop him and save the forest. To the trees, girls. Don't let him find the grove. Charge. Destroy the forest. Find that fruit. So says AI, the mighty Fred. Oh, no, look at him. They're on stilts! What an ingenious idea! Remember, ladies, courage is on our side! Plus the fact that the star of the show never gets hurt! We need your help, Mudmen! The evil knights are threatening the forest! 
Oh. If anyone's gonna mess up this forest, it's us. That's what mud's for! He thinks it's time to switch sides. Perfect. <laughs> I can sneak right past Fred. He'll never recognize me in this disguise. This is all your fault. Now, now, this is no reason to blow your helmet. Retreat, knights, and as you do, get that fool. Ah! He knew me. Well, it looks like Oddlaw's seen better days, and so have the forest women. Oh, look at our beautiful forest. It'll take forever for it to grow back like it was. There, there, Queen Emerelda. I'll think of something, even if it's lending you my gardener. He's quite good, you know. What? Huh? <laughs> That's it! Whitebeard's riddle! You'll find your quest is just the pits. It isn't the fruit, it's the pits. They're very special jewels. Observe. Well, I'll be dead. Look at that, girls. <laughs> you don't even need to plant them. And there's an endless supply, enough to regrow the entire forest. You save the forest, walrus. That's Wally. Wally. Yeah, yeah. Come on, ladies. Let's give him a big forest woman. Thank you. How touching, eh, Wolf? Here, Wallbang. This is just a little token of our appreciation. Hey, where on earth is he? Where's Walding? A wallpaper. A wallaby. Where's what's his face? Where is Wallaby the Wally this time? Can you find him? Keep looking. There's Wally. Now, I've got to go. I've got another job across town, and the traffic is fierce. See ya. Where's Waldo? What do we do after these messages? Built to last, it's a blast. Matchbox. Driving down the highway to Matchbox Motor City. Gonna help them build at the construction site. I'm gonna get my car fixed till it drives just right. Motor City. Motor City. Park a lot of cars, they go straight to the top. Down in Motor City, the fun doesn't stop. Motor City! Motor City. Play sets sold separately. You put them together from Matchbox. Have you heard the Apple Sweet Crunch? The Apple Sweet Crunch that's great to munch is part of this complete breakfast. In Apple Cinnamon! Cheerio! Now you can get a ColorWorks crayon stick from Crayola that actually erases. Free! Along with a mystery game sheet. And specially marked boxes of Apple Cinnamon Cheerios. ColorWorks crayon sticks. You can collect all four, but this offer will disappear soon. There's something new in Gotham City. It's Batman! Like you've never seen him before. Figures and vehicles sold separately. Flashlight!
like he does, Batman. My tech shield suit protects me. Even against this sludge, your poison can't hurt my tech shield suit. Bye, Batman. Think again, Joker. My Batcopter, fire! Yeah! Ah, where does it get these great weapons? You're finished, Joker. Batcopter, part of Batman, the Dark Knight collection. Tech shield Batman and Joker sold separately. Super zany, wacky fun, eh? Harry playoffs! Harry playoffs! <laughs> it's gonna be wild! Saturdays! And now back to... Where's Waldo? Hit it. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs> this is CBS. This is crack. Rock cocaine. It isn't glamorous or cool or kid stuff. It's the most addictive kind of cocaine, and it can kill you. What's really bad is nobody knows how much it takes. So every time you use it, you risk dying. It isn't worth it. Look, everybody wants to be cool. But doing it with crack isn't just wrong. It could be dead wrong. We'll return after these messages. Crayola crayons let you rock. Crayola markers let you roll. Crayola crayola rocks! Crayola crayola rocks! Crayola crayons and markers. You don't just draw with them. 
you rock and roll with them. Crayola, Crayola rocks! The crayons and markers you rock and roll with also come in these cool Crayola art kits and organizers. Crayola rocks! <laughs> Now back to Pee Wee's Playhouse. <laughs> Come closer! Closer. Closer still! Ah! <laughs> I'm in your living room! <laughs> hey, let's play a game! Has everybody out there played a game called Simon Says before? Well, this is just like Simon Says, except it's called Pee Wee Says. <laughs> Pee Wee Says, stand up! Pee Wee Says, sit back down! Pee Wee Says, put both your arms up in the air! Pee Wee Says, take them down! Pee Wee Says, go like this! La la la, la la la, la la la, la la la. Pee Wee Says, stop! Now shake your head back and forth! Ha <laughs> ha! I didn't say Pee Wee Says! You're out, you're out, you're out, and you're out! <laughs> the magic screen says it's time to play Connect the Dots. Yay! Magic screen says, Pee Wee, jump in. <laughs> now, Pee Wee, jump up and down. I didn't say magic screen says. <laughs> now, magic screen says, Pee Wee, throw out your dots. Connect the dots, la 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 la, connect the dots, la 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 la. Congratulations! 
Congratulations, Pee-wee. Hawaiian food is delicious. I had some spill on me once. Mmm. It's out of this world. Why? like a big man. Not hey guys, it's not him. What's he doing around McDonald's? He probably has his own. He is Michael Jordan. We know it's Michael Jordan. Go ahead, say something. Come on, you can do it. Yes, yes, yes. Where did he go? Looking for someone? That's why he's peeking on. Are you Michael Jordan? No. See, I told you. Oh, God. What's hot? Hot Wheels. What's cool? Power Command Racers. This is how you set them up. Say the word to give them a blast. How? Look at them go. They're mega fast. Po -po 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 Power Command Racers. You can race them, you can jump them, you can crash them into something. Power Command Racers so from the tail. When you're ready to race, just give them a yell. New Power Command Racers, blowing them to make them go. Po -po -po Power. So hot, so cool. Oh, right. New Hot Wheels Power Command Racers sold in two packs. Race sets sold separately. Some cars not for use with some sets. to make more Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah, we're getting low. Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. Look is at all that Cinnamon Toast Crunch on TV. Oh, goodness, Wendell? cinnamon is a thing. Oh, That's cinnamon. The right amount of sugar. Sugar? Oh, what a crunch. I'm getting hungry. He's totally into it. This crunch is part of this complete breakfast. Wendell? Crunchy crazy! Come back! Uh-oh. Without Wendell, we can't make any more Cinnamon Toast Crunch. What? No more? Good, well, let's look at the board. How will they get Wendell out of the TV? You can find out. One magic rescue screen free in specially marked boxes of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It will only happen once. Somebody help! Witness the creation, the Flash, premiering Thursday. And now back to Pee Wee. <laughs> Hold still, Chicky baby. I'm trying to comb your hair. <gasps> there. What did we girls ever do before styling moves? Thanks, Yvonne. That looks out of sight. Perfect for my date tonight. A date? How exciting! Who's the lucky fella? Diggity Vaughn, we're all going to dinner. Pee Wee was a game show winner. Dutty Dog isn't lying. We're going to dinner. It's totally Hawaiian. A Hawaiian dinner. How exciting! Oh, I better get my hair done. Aloha. See ya. Later, man. Later. Yeah. <laughs> they think they're all going to dinner with Pee Wee. <laughs> when they find out he can only take one person, they're going to be awfully sad. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Presenting His Majesty, King Cartoon! Let the cartoon! Where's Pee-wee? Pee-wee went to the store to buy some tape. He said you should start the cartoon without him. Well then, let the cartoon begin! Listen, my 
my soldiers, and you shall hear of the vicious enemy we have to fear. teach you something about Hawaii on the magic screen. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh! <laughs> ah, you and your secret word. How about it, magic screen? Beautiful Hawaii became America's 50th state on August 21st, 1959. Hawaii is made up of eight main islands and numerous islets located in the Pacific Ocean and is known for its tropical beauty. Hawaii's chief products are cane sugar and pineapple. And tourism provides Hawaii with its largest source of outside income. Boy, oh boy, that pineapple looks good enough to share, doesn't it? Why, there's some more tourists now enjoying the poo-poo platter, a traditional Hawaiian feast. Dig in. Better take a picture because that platter will be empty before you can say Honolulu, the state capital. Well, there's just enough time for a quick hula and to say goodbye to this lush tropical paradise. Aloha, Aloha State. Hey, that was great, Captain Carl. Now I know everything about Hawaii. Yeah, and didn't that food look good? Boy, what I wouldn't do for a platter of poo-poos. <coughs> well, I'll see you later, Pee-wee. Or should I say, aloha. <laughs> hey, Captain Carl. How you doing, Tito? Save any lives lately? Nah, no one's swimming out there. <laughs> What's the matter? 
Mm. I'm trying to make a decision about something. Oh, yeah, sometimes those are hard. Well, if you need any help, I'll be out by the pool. Good luck. Knock, knock. It's Knucklehead! <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? How are you? How are you who? How are you going to decide who to take to dinner? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Here we play out. We'll return after these messages. Nursery toddlers, each with a surprise package, each doll sold separately. If you are a recovering addict or alcoholic, remember the simple word HALT, H-A-L-T. Don't let yourself get too hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. Back to Pee Wee. Misses like you do, Pee Wee. What style? What flair? What a lot of hooey. Psst. Hey, Pee Wee, come here. Let me straighten you out. Can't you see what's going on? Why do you think everyone's being so nice to you? Because they like me. Nah. Why is that, Pee Wee? Put two and two together. Everybody's being nice to you because they want you to take them to that dinner. That's the only reason. <laughs> Pee-wee, you little angel! How is my most favorite person in the whole wide world? See what I mean? <laughs> well, <laughs> how do you like my hair? Not you too, Miss Yvonne. What's she doing here? Well, I'm going out to dinner with Pee-wee. Not that it's any of your business, Mrs. Steve. Everything is my business. And besides, I'm going to that dinner with Pee Wee. Well, I beg to no. differ with you. Oh, well, I'm you can beg all you like. Chow time! You know hey, what are these people doing? doing? I'm the Hawaii, Hawaii expert! Oh, You're gonna take me. Hey, listen, I was in Hawaii with my. Oh! Once upon a time, there were two fires, a big one and a little one. And then the fire alarm rang, and then they had to run into the, the big fireman had a big truck, and the little fireman had a little truck. Then the big fireman gave you a big house, and the little fireman gave you a little house. There were little fat ladies in the little house, and big fat ladies in the big house. Then they all jumped down and they got in the net. Then they put out the water and they got all. They all got a new home. That's the end. I taught Pee Wee Notsmanship and Navigation. Are you ready? Are you ready? Go to to make you this incredible offer. I 
have something I want to say. Be quiet. Pee Wee wants to say something. What is it, darling? You know, I was really happy when I won that game show, but now, now I'm sorry I ever won. What do you mean, Pee Wee? Don't you think I can see what's going on here? What do you mean, Pee Wee? The reason you're all being nice to me is because you're all hungry for Hawaiian food. Here. Here's the tickets. If a Hawaiian dinner means more to you than my friendship, then go ahead. Take them. Well, if nobody else wants them, then I don't want them either. Besides, I had a very late lunch. You're right, Pee Wee. Maybe we did go a bit overboard. We're sorry, Pee Wee. But we are all your friends, aren't we, everyone? Yeah, yeah. sure we are. Sure That's we are. Yeah. And the only reason we wanted to go to this dinner was because we could be with you. Your friendship means more to us than, than anything. We all love you, Pee Wee. We do? Yeah, yeah, of course we well, do. I love you all, too. That's why it's been so hard to pick who to take. I wish I knew what to do. Wish? Did somebody say wish? Jambi. Maybe Jambi can help. Jambi, I wish there was some way that everybody could share this Hawaiian dinner with me. There is, Pee Wee, but I'm going to need everybody's help. Everyone, repeat after me, quickly, in Jambi's. Mecca lekka hai, mecca hiney ho. Mecca lekka hai, mecca hiney ho. Mecca lekka hai, mecca chani ho. Mecca lekka hai, mecca chani ho. Mola mecca chala mecca hola hele he. It's working. Now all the boys and girls in home, repeat after me. Mecca lekka hai, mecca hiney ho. Mecca lekka hai, mecca hiney ho. Now everybody else. Mecca lekka hai, mecca hiney ho. 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 The wish is granted. Long live John. Oh! <laughs> 
all you boys and girls had a lot of fun. Ah! <laughs> Aloha! This is C...